It's time. It's time to play some Manor Lords live. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome aboard. Good to see you all here for our first live look at one of the most anticipated city builders of 2022, 2023, 2021, 2020, whenever it was first announced. It's been a long time, and now we finally get to play. Today, in just a few hours, all of you, in just a little bit, will be able to play this on Steam as well. The demo's not out yet for everybody, but soon, soon, the dev did drop a tweet that said that it'll be out for everybody on Steam to try out in about three hours or so, so make sure that you... Um, Mark your uh, clocks, mark your calendars, add it to your Steam wish list. It's phenomenal. It's fun. It's Manor Lords. Going to be a lot of videos coming up on the channel for this one. A little uh, tutorial here and there on how to build a city. But there are a few drawbacks to the demo. Like, for example, no ability to save just yet. So every time you make a city, you will have to start over. So when we play Manor Lords, every stream it's probably going to be a completely different city. So we'll try to build it up. But for our first stream here, we're going to get really deep into all the different details and all the different uh, nuances of the game. So uh, we are going to t uh, take a look at everything from what it's like to make a banner and a character to all of the options and details of the tutorial. So everyone can kind of understand what types of detail we're talking about for a game like Manor Lords. Now the demo itself is just the city building aspect, but there are abilities to like build a, a like a manor and like add defenses and build walls and things like that. Although um, you're not going to be able to really build a military and like be able to battle it out. So the RTS part is kind of not there, but the whole city building and the ability to build stuff is here. And it's, it's very good. So if you're all ready and want me to start right away, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't yet become a member on the channel, memberships are 20% off on all of uh, YouTube. So click or tap join, become a member. Lots of extra perks, lots of uh, different emotes and such for you all to enjoy. And make sure you turn on that notification bell because... If and when we do more giveaways in the future, it's probably going to be on Manor Lords, and giveaways are only going to be for those who are subscribers. So if you haven't yet subbed to the channel, might be a good idea to subscribe for free, say hi in the chat for free, turn on the notification bell for free, smash like for free, jump on the Discord for free. So we can get you a copy of Manor Lords if and when the dev gives us some more keys for all of you. But luckily, today everybody gets to play for free, so that'll be awesome. Soon, chat. Soon. Soon. All right, y'all ready? Cool. Let's jump in then to our first live playthrough of Manor Lords. Oh, but wait, that music. It's so good, I don't want to start. All right, let's start. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just check a couple of the settings real quick. I just turned them down for now. We'll adjust them as we go. And I also have some settings uh, for YouTube streaming just to make it a little easier easier for YouTube. Tutorial, we'll leave that on. Rotation speed seems fine. That's good. We can adjust all those on the fly in the game. Alright, let's begin. So, there's a few modes to play from. Uh, unfortunately, only one is available in the demo, but there does appear to be separate game modes that we can play in Manor Lords, including uh, the Robber Baron, an infamous knight is residing in the castle up north. Build up your strength, and when ready, lay claim to his land and defeat him in battle. That kind of reminds me of Stronghold's campaign, actually. Building up, being real, like, quiet and cautious for a while, and then eventually striking when the time is right. That's kind of cool. It's like a slow build-up to a big final battle. I like that. Realm Conquest. Due to a tangled history, there are multiple claimants to these disputed lands. Use economy, diplomacy, and warfare to to your advantage to become the sole ruler. That's cool. And the one we'll be playing today, which we're allowed to play for the demo, Rise to Prosperity. You're the first lord to settle these lands. So we'll be here all alone. Start from nothing and build a prosperous medieval city. So that does imply that the first two modes will have AI to fight against and other villages to take over and or other lords to defeat, whether it be through military means or uh, influence and other diplomatic means as well. Which I guess you could consider the uh, sword also being a part of those diplomatic means, too, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, Rise to Prosperity. Let's do that campaign. Oh, baby. Alright, so if you are a content creator yourself, or if you want, uh, or have your own logo, you can import stuff. I've chosen not to just for this point, but you can definitely put the Raptoria logo in there if you want. Or make your own, whatever you'd like. So let's choose somebody. Um... 
Yeah, so we got Binging with Babish, Angry Lady, Dude from Stronghold, Other Angry Lady. Uh, wait, this guy reminds me of Anno 1404. Uh, PewDiePie, House Harkonnen, and uh, Le Hat. Yeah, Sir Greg. <laughs> exactly. I guess we'll go with uh, Raptor. Uh, actually, if you change to a lady portrait, too, it becomes lady. Lady Raptor. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with... Uh, we'll go with Binging with Babish. All right. Uh, let's go and make our coat of arms now. This will be. This won't be so important for this game mode, but when you go to make your own army... Of course, your uh, all of your banners and all of your um, shields and stuff will have this logo. So, logo kind of important because you know as you take over the realm, it's going to be kind of like your, you know, it's like your QR code for invasion. Let's make something cool for ourselves. Uh, let's see. We can have all sorts of shapes. That's pretty cool. Different layers, different colors. I think we'll make this one uh, red, white, and blue, maybe? Ooh, that's gonna look nice. We'll put a logo just on the middle here. Oh, dude, the music. Music's ridiculous. I want to try to get that middle piece to pop out. There's also different uh, patterns we can choose, too, so it doesn't necessarily have to be solid. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. But there are ways to, like, smash, like, a, a lion's head onto, like, a elephant's body or whatever by using the uh, Dimidation thing. Which is pretty cool. But let's go simple here. I'll give uh, members and such a shout out too. So welcome to all the new members and thank you guys for the support. Appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, I think we want to go with this one. New member, welcome. Ooh, that kind of looks cool. What if we go with like a yellow color? That actually looks really cool. Hmm. Oh, this must be the background pattern? Oh, okay. I see. We can make it bigger. And we can also add more. I kind of like that for whatever reason. I don't know. Of course, we can put all sorts of different logos on it, which is really cool. Oh, now, now we're just... Now it's Ferrari. <laughs> Raptoria is just a Ferrari now. Okay, well, that's cool. Birds, swords, historical logos, fun logos, just a shovel. Yeah, the horse is climbing a slope, yeah. Alright, I think we'll go with this. Um, although we can put a ton of logos on it, I think we'll just go with this. Oh, we can also do... Oh, you can pull it vertical. That's nice. Or just do it uniform. Although I'm not sure how to pull the logo forward. That's fine. Alright, we'll go with this then. We'll go with uh, red, yellow, and blue. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Okay, this seems good to me. Sir Raptor, there's our logo. Ace of Spades. Yeah, there's lots of cool different uh, things where you can really, truly get into it. I like that. Also, pants. There are pants. 
<laughs> Little shorts. Are these YouTube shorts? God, no. All right, let's continue. By the way, uh, there is a really hilarious clip on our Discord, by the way. If everybody, um, exclamation point, join. If you haven't joined our Discord, or uh, sorry, exclamation point, Discord, uh, join the Discord. There's some great clips from last night that uh, my first playthrough of this game was uh, quite funny. And the developer reached out and was like, hey, bro, <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. He didn't say that, but it's like, oops. It was funny. It was a good moment. It was a good uh, first look at Manor Lords. All right, if you're all ready, one's in the chat. If you're all excited for Manor Lords releasing in just a couple of hours in its demo for everyone, one's in the chat. If you smash like, one's in the chat. If you've subscribed, one's in the chat. Notification bell turned on, one's in the chat. If you want to become a member, one's in the chat. One's in the chat. If you want to drop a gift bomb, one's in the chat. If you want to receive a gift bomb, one in the chat. If you haven't put a one in the chat, y'all ready? Here we go. All right, demo settings are starting supplies. I guess we'll start standard. Approval will start balanced, and weather events will start balanced. This seems to be just the middle of the road. All right, without further ado, Manor Lords, here we come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome. What does visit mode do? That's interesting. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can third person your dude and walk around your city. I'm not sure if you can give any commands or fight in combat that way, but if there was a way where you could put on armor, get on a horse, and actually be involved in the combat... Remember. Welcome. Holy crap, that would be amazing. I'll give shout-outs for all the new members and all the uh, re-ups and such later on in the stream, so thank you very much for your support. A new message. Establishing a foothold. There's a fire in the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against the darkness of the world. On this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, their breath clouding in the air. But there is plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils, the toiling of bells, and the cries of the marketplace. Possibilities. In the distance, fog lingers in the hollows of the land, and the world is quiet, watchful, waiting for you to choose which of those to make real. Objectives are to construct a granary, logging camp, forge your hut, storehouse, and we have 360 days to do so. Interesting. All right. Well, so this is where we'll be building our, oh man, wow. Our city. Wow. And uh, just as an FYI, we can pretty much build everywhere, so long as we control that territory. But the start we have to build here, but eventually we shall build out. The region view shows you which regions are under your control. You can claim other regions when you gain enough influence. Claims can be refuted or if a war is declared blocking by the presence of an enemy army. Conquest is locked in the demo. So it looks like we'll be able to trade off map this way as well. So these trade routes here, or import and export, 
we can eventually set up our trade routes by going out to this map. That'll be cool. Looks like there's other things in the game like honeybees, clay, berries, lots and lots of berries. Looks like there's wild animals to go hunt. There's stone deposits. Iron uh, deposits here. More honeybees. There should also be salt on the map. There's a lot of resources that are different each time that you play. So uh, the map that we have for the demo is not procedurally generated, but it is the materials and what's in those maps are different each time. So animals could be different. Uh, stone deposits could be different. Unfortunately, we don't have much in terms of end game building materials, but and we're kind of in a smaller claim. But there's nothing stopping us from going to Lokendorf and Lowfield over here. Well, let's go ahead and correct this. Oh, we have a tech tree too. Uh, development policy and production. And uh, unfortunately this is locked in the demo, so this is kind of researcher skill points. Um, so it looks like this might be industry, harvesting, transportation, and maybe farming? We'll have to see when the uh, full version of things are unlocked. You might see a lot of work in progress or placeholders too, by the way, but considering that this is essentially made by like one person and very uh, like small use of other people aside from things like music and other types of assets working closely together with the dev, most things are pretty much made by a single man. It's like Minecraft, but actually good. Wow. Shots fired. That's right. Deal with it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and correct this typo in our name. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Now, a cool thing about these maps, too, is when you build your city, you see the little bumps here? That's actually our town. And if we hover over it, you can actually see that there's some... Uh, if you hover close enough, you'll be able to see some buildings and stuff there. They're like homeless tents. So as we build our city, it'll actually look like an old school map too as things develop over time, which is amazing. But we have a road here, and I think we might have a river too. Oh, just up there, okay. So a road passes through town. So we're in the corner of the map, wow. Amazing. All right, so when we start, we've got some supplies here. It looks like we've got um, some bread, firewood, and tools to start us off. And also some timber. And the things that we need to build... I'll scoot over just a little bit. I'm going to scoot over. Just so everybody can see. Yeah, that music is too good. All right, let's start with the uh, logging camp first. I'm very excited. I'm very uh, distracted by this game, so I will I will give shout outs for all the memberships, all the super chats, all the gift bombs a little later in the stream. Thank you guys for all your support. You guys are very, very important. So thank you for being here. All right, let's build ourselves a uh, logging camp, although here are the types of buildings that we have. We have a logging camp, of course, to cut down trees. We have a woodcutter lodge in order to turn that lumber into firewood. We have a forester hut to regrow those trees if we want to, or we can clear the land to build trees and farmland. We have a hunting camp. We have a forger camp. We have a mining pit, which allows us to mine iron ore or clay. We have a granary a storehouse, and a hitching post, to which we can only have one at the moment. We have a... Uh, a Burgage plot, which is basically a home that has gardens behind it. We have a well, market areas, food stalls, firewood stalls, clothing stalls, we have a tavern that we can build, too, and a church. Then we can do farm fields, which can be customized. We have farms as well. Pastures and sheep farms. 
Then a windmill, Dutch breathing intensifies in order to, uh, of course, turn that any sort of grain into uh, flour. And then also a communal oven. Wait a minute. I think we're going to need some more wood, Chad, don't you think? More wood is needed for sure. Wood needed, more wood Lord. is needed. That's right. Absolutely. All right, we have a bloomery so we can smelt the iron into iron slabs, a.k.a. ingots. We have a smithy. We have a malt house. This will be used for, of course, operating the tavern. Uh, malt house and the brewery will work hand in hand to then serve beer at the uh, or ale. Beer or ale. We can make both. Uh, that means we'd have to trade trade for hops for one of them and uh, either import it or grow our own. Interesting. Let's see. Thanks, charged by the pound. We have a tannery. And a weaver workshop. So, of course, the tannery will take pelts and turn that into leather. And the weaver workshop will either make wool into yarn or flax into linen. So both of those will be used for clothing making and or shoes for the uh, leather. And then we have the ability to trade. So a trading post and a livestock trading post. This will be very important, by the way. The livestock trading post, if we can get some money up, will get us another ox and when we get more oxen, we'll be able to do a lot more around the camp. Essentially, a lot of these buildings that we'll build in the game... Fritz here. It's on the Fritz. Sorry, it's not working right now, but he will work soon. But, uh, so we'll have somebody come over, and each one of these logs are basically tied to the back of the ox and dragged to the construction site. So construction will be quite slow until we got our ox ready to go, or more of them. And, uh, so that'll be important. And defenses! Later in the game, we'll be able to build gatehouses. We'll be able to build a uh, manor house. We'll be able to put that into a wall, a bailey wall. And then we'll also be able to build garrison towers. And uh, we might get troops for free. Oh my god, that music. Oh my god, that music. Look at that. Wow. 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 That is a Bob Ross painting, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I don't even want to talk. I'm being disrespectful to the game right now. Just give me a second. Beautiful. Wow. Alright. So, one last thing to go over is the overlay on the right side. Underground water for our wells. Emmer fertility, which is essentially wheat. So if we're going to build a farm, we should probably do it down here. If we own that territory, which we do not, I believe. Flax fertility, which is good for clothing. All the good farmland is exactly where the town is. Barley fertility, rye fertility, and stank. Which I'm assuming might be related to the tannery, and or later maybe the livestock farms and such. But no stank to be had here, so that's all good. All right, we're going to play nice and slow on the slowest speed because there's a lot to cover here and uh, we don't want things to get too far out in front of us, so we'll play on slow as much as we can. But we do see that we have an iron deposit here, so we're not going to build over here. Actually, if we uh, try to build a building, you can see where the deposit is. So don't want to build there. And we certainly don't want to cut down trees where the berries are because I'm not sure if that'll actually destroy that seasonal resource. If we cut down those trees, it could kill off the bushes and other things there, so... If we're going to do log, and it's going to have to be down here. Oh my god, look at that cliffside. Wow. That's amazing. Alright, let's build ourselves a logging camp. Let's get started. And we'll probably move our ox over here, too. We can relocate buildings. We do need to build somewhere flat. The nice thing is, too, this game gives you contour lines, so you can kind of tell. It does let you build on pretty sloped land, but there is a there is such a thing as too steep. 
see that. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and build. Actually, wait a minute. What about fertility over here? There is a little bit of... Oh, okay, hold on. If we cut all this down, this could be perfect um, farmland. That, that would definitely be good. Oh, you'll know that desolate if you uh, watch the streams. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and build maybe over here. And put our hitching post nearby. I'm going to try to clear out all this land. So that way we can build, uh, build a farm over there. And buildings can be relocated, so you can do temporary uh, building and such. Yeah, the music is ridiculous. You get you pay for a soundtrack and you get a free game. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think we're going to build it here. And then Oh. Unassigned peasants automatically work on construction. If there's nothing to construct, they'll Help with work in buildings with enabled idle laborers switched on. Got it. All right, so we have five unassigned families in the game, zero assigned families. We have a total population of five, approval at 50%, public order at uh, 100%, which means that there's no chance of crime occurring at the moment. Regional wealth, we're broke. We got nothing. Livestock, we have one ox to transport everything around. A uh, number of months before supplies run out. Now, this is kind of like how it is in Farthest Frontier, if you've seen that before on the channel. Um, we have 20 months of fuel, so f basically for the winter months to keep warm, and four months of food supply. We definitely need to make more storage for that. And then if we look under crops, we've got nothing, but we can grow grain, or rather wheat, which then can be threshed into grain. Flax and barley, too. Then under food, we have meat, vegetables, Berries, bread, a couple of items that haven't been implemented yet. Salted meat, which of course we can get from having a salt mine, which will sell for quite a bit of money too. Eggs and milk as well. Then there's our fuel to which we can have firewood for the homes and charcoal for businesses like, for example, smelting, iron, that type of thing. Or possibly like um, firing pots as well. Timber, we have six. Stone, we have none. Tools, we have one. We're going to hold on to that tool to build a, a barn later on. Materials, it looks like there is uh, flour, pelts, leather, wool, yarn, cloth, honey, uh, wax, malt, uh, something named woad, iron ore, and iron slabs in the game as well. And under commodities, we have a couple of items here without names just yet. Uh, we have cloaks, linen clothes, uh, candles, salt, ale, beer, shoes, and uh, herbs. And we have no equipment, which is basically for our military, but we won't have any military at the moment. Oh, Manor Lords is in the chat as well. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching. Huge thanks to Raptor for streaming and supporting me as a developer. Glory to Raptoria. Well, glory to you. I hope you make the best game ever, and I hope everybody thoroughly enjoys it. Keep in mind, folks, when you download the demo today, be sure to follow the developer on uh, Twitter or wherever they may have social medias, Discord or whatnot. And make sure you give helpful, meaningful, constructive criticism and feedback. Let them know what you like, what you think could be different, what you think could improve. Give them ideas and the team of pretty much one person will be on it post-haste. Thank you for dropping by. We haven't even done a single thing in the game and yet, best game ever. No need to play Ragnarok this year, guys. Just go ahead and sell the PS5. Just buy a couple copies of Manor Lords. <laughs> You're going to go on a walk now and get some rest, have fun? Well, thank you very much. Enjoy your walk and rest well, my friend. We'll take care of the kingdom while you're away. Thank you. The king was in the chat, guys. I'm just a, I'm just a Manor Lord, but the king came to our realm. Tee hee. Thank you very much, dude. If you have any questions, by the way, make sure you subscribe to Manor Lords as well. You can leave comments in the uh, video trailer sections, too. All right. Back to it, then. Uh, we're going to move our hitching post down here as well. So the hitching post is kind of like a like a spawn point for the ox. Now, a nice thing about the ox, too, is we don't have to house or feed the ox. Oxen in this game are kind of free, meaning once you pay for them, they don't take up, at the moment, they don't take up food or need to be, like, um, sheltered or anything like that, so... 
Um, yeah. Let's see. Bum, bum. Go ahead and go down here. We're going to go ahead and put our hitching post down here. Let's put it on the corner. Kind of looked nice there. Get to work, lads. Assigning workers. You can now select this building to add or remove workers. Interestingly enough, I think uh, Fritz, our uh, ox, will work automatically even without somebody assigned to it. We'll see. Okay. So now we've got to store our supplies. So some is food and some is um, like building materials. So we need to work on that stuff too. Let's build that stuff. Let's start working on... Uh, let's work on the granary and the storehouse. I think we'll build a storehouse down here. Let's not snap to the road and build our own, maybe. There we go. Let's get to work. Roads and handcarts. Some workers can use handcarts to transport goods more effectively or efficiently up to 10 items at once. To enable handcart transportation, road points from both buildings must be connected via a road network. Got it. Now here's a cool thing about the roads too, check this out. So we can make straight roads, of course. We can make curved roads, of course. But we can also adjust the curve by holding control, and then we can kind of get a little bit more... There's a little bit of play with it. You can kind of, like, uh, play the line a little bit to make the curve however you want. So if you want, like, a 90-degree turn or whatnot, or if you want to kind of curve it a little bit, you can do it that way. Kind of cool. Alright, let's build one over here. Just a little driveway. And once we're done, we just hit the hammer, and boom, insta-build. That could change in the future. Maybe roads will have to be built by hands or, hand or something in the future. But essentially, I think what we're doing is just giving permission for people to walk there. And then this, this kind of simulates, like, if people were walking there, what it would look like. All right, it is March of year one. So here's some things to consider since we're starting the game. As the game mentioned at the very beginning, it is spring. So we're going to have um, a little bit of time to prepare for winter. So it says, uh, spring. Seasons are deeply connected to players, people's lives and affect different jobs. Spring, which is March to May. Frequent raining, berry deposits regrow, plowing for quick summer harvest is possible. Summer, June to August, crop harvest start in late summer. Autumn, which is September to November, end of harvest, plowing and sowing. Uh, crops recommended for maximum yield next summer. Berries start disappearing. So autumn, we won't be able to get berries anymore. This is going to be tough for us because we don't have any hunting grounds in our territory yet, which means we won't be able to get pelts too unless animals show up or if we happen to take over other territories. I'm not sure if the animals migrate into other regions, so we'll see soon enough. Winter, December to February, berry deposits vanish, firewood is required for survival, sheep shearing is forbidden, chance of getting ill. Okay. So we can't shear sheep in the winter because they need to stay warm and chance of getting ill for our people is high, so we need to be careful about that, too. So there can be diseases. Hey, Chad, did you see this? Huh. That's kind of cool. I guess. Yeah, the drip on that guy. It'd be cool if you can... Uh, now, that's just a placeholder character that looks nothing like our guy in the upper right corner. But imagine if you can customize your character, too, to where you can equip yourself with your own sword, your own set of armor, your own horse. You can ride into battle. Maybe. I'm not saying that's going to be a thing, but... I mean, imagine if you could do that. Uh, I would be crying and shaking in between shaking and crying. Wow. Okay. So uh, we're building a, um, we're going to build our logging camp first, so let's make that a high priority. We'll do the storehouse next. And the hitching post, I think, automatically moved. So 
And there's also berries for us to gather, so we should probably get food going, too. Uh, but we also want to plan where our town will be. And I kind of don't want to block where we can grow things. So let's see. Well, we will have a granary down here. Maybe we could... Can I demolish some of the roads? Let's see. Alt, left click, remove road. Oh, King's Road. Cannot remove. All right. So some of these roads we cannot adjust. Some of these have to be... Um, some of these actually have to be, like, uh, used. So the King says we can't remove that road, so we have to do that. We have to keep with it. Okay. Take a look at where our crops might grow. So there's fertility for rye. So this is a perfect spot for uh, a forager. Actually, let's build a... Let's build a granary. Yeah, we're just planning out our city now, basically. How's your ox moving when the game is on paused? He's on the fritz. Let's get to work. What? His name's literally Fritz. All right, let's build a. Uh, Berry gatherer, too. So, forger hut. Preferably, I'd rather build a pizza hut, but the forger hut will do, I guess. And if you don't like pizza hut, don't be picky. This is the Middle Ages. Like, they didn't have dominoes back then. Yeah, about 99% of this game is made by one person, that is correct, yep. But music and some other things are, you know, purchase assets. You can't do everything, but a massive majority is made by a solo dev. Yep, this certainly feels like Ostrieve, a little a foundation, a little total war. It's crazy. Whoa, there's like rocks in the road. we go. Alright, so we're going to give buildings priority now. So, I don't know how Fritz has built it. Where'd he go? Where's our ox? Sir? Okay, I'm not going to question that. Oh, it's on pause now. <laughs> Never mind. Well, still, he was moving when it was paused, so. Very important, by the way, to get multiple oxen as soon as you can. The, the more ox you have, the faster you can log, which really is like a bottleneck for building. If you don't get uh, that done in time. Alright. So let's do our logging camp first. Then our storehouse second. Then our... Forger building third. And our granary fourth, for now. And then we also need to build the storehouse, don't we? Oh no, that's that's two. We're good. All right, so the logging camp will be first. So we can generate additional logs to make more buildings, and then the other ones will come along over time. Now, one thing um, that's a little annoying about certain things about this game is like you're not allowed to do like a blueprint mode until you have the resources for something. So. If you wanted to build a house that costs, like, one wood, you have to wait until you have the log before you can, like, put the house down. So I, I wish we, we could do some sort of a blueprint mode, or at least lay a building out like this and then pause it for later on. It'd be kind of helpful, but... So right now we have no timber, so we kind of got to wait a little bit. 
which is totally fine. But let's go down to the old river. Take a look at the water. Sounds beautiful. I don't think there's any water-powered structures in the game, but I would love to see a water wheel for a uh, flour mill or um, like a sawmill. Like water power would be amazing. Be really cool. Do we need to buy land first? The way we acquire land is by getting influence. Eventually, you'll see stats and stuff pop up in the upper right corner when we get a little bit later into the game. And so we'll be able to buy influence or we'll, we'll be able to use influence to buy these territories. Influence can be generated by completing objectives that are given to us by the king, or uh, we can pay a fee to the church, and we can generate um, influence through that. Although, I'm not sure if it's through the ch level 1 or level 2. I've not seen fishing yet, no. Uh, not at the moment. Oh, here he comes. Fritz is grabbing another log. So as you can see, we have a zero timber, but that's because it's all assigned, so... It's gonna take a long time for Fritz to get over there. But that's okay. I don't think we're in a hurry. We can use this time to lay out roads and such. Alright, where do we want to build our town? We're going to build farm fields down here. So we certainly want to start probably with Emmer. So we'll build that like down here. And then... Uh, maybe Flax here. Barley maybe. And Rye pretty much anywhere. So we can certainly build our town here. You've been waiting for this for years? Same, brother. I got access to this last night. I've been up all night. My bad. Just the life of a gamer. <laughs> You'll be up late, too. By the way, um... If you guys are just tuning in, this game and many other games are free on Steam right now for what's known as the a, a next event. It might be starting in a few hours, but some of the games you may have seen on the channel will have free demos, and some games that aren't even out yet, such as Manor Lords, will have free demos too. So you can literally go to Steam, download a demo for free. This one, this demo could last for hours and hours and hours, and you can get a nice big o sample of games coming out. So if this or any of the other games you've seen on the channel were interesting to you, if anything in the last like couple months that you may have heard or seen, uh, you can just go download for free. Try it before you buy it. This game you can try out for, you know, a hundred hours before it comes out, before you decide if you want to buy it or not. But, let's be honest, it's better than Fortnite. Alright, let's go ahead and build a town, shall we? Uh, we can also build roundabouts too, but I'm just going to go ahead and build a uh, grid square because it's a little bit easier to lay out the houses because the plots, we can't build circular houses, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's elevation lines, yep. These are contour lines, that is correct. Yeah, farm, we, we cannot build anything else until Fritz is done delivering wood to the lumber mill. We, we have to generate more timber, so while we wait for that, we can build our uh, town road. Yeah, exactly. There's more information on Steam uh, for this one. So if you're curious about some of the minute details, minimum specs versus recommended specs, etc., make sure you check Steam. I don't know those off the top of my head. I wish I did. That'd be a big brain emote. Uh, welcome again to all the new members and everybody else uh, with the Big O Super Chats. I'll get to you guys very soon. Thanks again for the support. I just don't want to take away from the awesomeness, which is Manor Lords at the moment. Now, if we don't put our stuff into storage, it will act as if it does in Farthest Frontier, where expo ex exposed um, lumber will go bad eventually. Like, uh, for example, firewood will go bad if it rains, and the same with food, too. So it'll be damaged by the weather, so it's imperative that we get these things done quickly, although 
We can only go so fast because of Fritz taking a little bit of time to, um, you know, do his thing. He's, he's moving at top speed. Don't blink, chat. Look at him go. Wow. He's really moving now. All right. Oh, wait. House construction is beginning. Or some of the buildings, although... Wow. I think it's time we inspect. Build faster. Good. Good. Let's watch this building actually get built. This is cool. Can we go into houses? Yeah, certain buildings will be open and we can actually go inside of certain buildings. I don't think we can like open a door and walk into a house, but if the building is open, we can go into it. Are oh, these guys on break already? Come on. Medieval Kingdom here trying to build. Are you too? Hey. Can you guys build? Guys? What the hell kind of a hat is that, sir? I'm walking around like Vader. That cape, y'all. Oh, yeah, work it. More drip needed, my lord. Uh, some people. That's cool. So, uh, some of the things I was mentioning are up here, like, for example, influence, king's favor, treasury, and annual royal tax, which we'll have to pay eventually. Oh, and here comes a merchant. We'll be able to trade with them later on. Soon, chat, soon. Soon. Okay, I want them to build this first, although I'm not sure how the priority works. Is zero on pause? What if we make this ten? Would this be the absolute high priority? We'll see. Unfortunately, the people live far away, but we have to cut down trees here because we need to clear land for farms. Certainly need to clear some farmland. They can't build while you're watching? Oh, maybe, yeah. That might be it. Oh, yeah, you won't be able to fast forward in f uh, third person like that. I might even call it first person mode because I'm the first person to discover that, I'm pretty sure. No, no, probably not. All right, um... Performance anxiety, perhaps. Uh, let's build a crossroads here. Oh, we can build over the road. Oh, that's nice. The game automatically knows to make an intersection. That's cool. Yeah, no more big money masook, huh? 
Looks like Thomas is delivering to all sorts of different structures. I I'd like it if he started here. Oh. Wait. Oh, they need one more log here and then the construction can begin. Alright, we'll speed up a little bit just because there's not much for us to do aside from waiting for Fritz to deliver the logs, which is painfully slow, but it has to be that way at the start. What's up, Kara Newbie? How you doing? Thanks for dropping into the stream. Thanks, guys, for being here. Appreciate all the hellos. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for the support. Most importantly, make sure you uh, smash like so other people can find out about Manor Lords for the dev so he can make an awesome game or continue to develop what is already an awesome game, too. Don't do it for me. I already got enough support from you guys. Do it for, uh, do it for the devs, baby. Or the dev, I should say. Alright, so we're waiting for the uh, log to be delivered here. Wow, look at him go. I really don't have to say much about this, do I? Is this a city builder? I think I'm lying to you all. Thank you, chat, for all the support. I'll get I'll get around to it shortly. I can't believe it. Thank you. We're supervising. All right, the two logs that are needed for the camp are here. Good job, Fritz. You're the best. Come here, you. Give me a hug. Okay, wow, he... Okay. He attacked me with his horns. Alright, then. Okay. So now let's wait for that to get constructed. And then we can start cutting down trees. It's gonna be a long day, folks. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, the details in this game are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Alright, looks like people are coming over to build this now. Oh, cool. When we click on the logging camp, you can actually see who's assigned to it and where they are. That's very helpful. I would assume since we were in a little higher speed, it muffled the sounds to kind of like make it sound like we were going a little faster. Looks like he's trying to start a fire with like flint on an axe or something. That's crazy. Alright, logging camp under construction. Wow, this music, dude. Incredible. 
All right, let's wait for the uh, logging camp construction to complete. Almost there. Hey, there we go. Construction finished. All right, so now one thing we can do in this is uh, we can assign up to three workers. We can either leave the work area unlimited, to which I think they'll start cutting down the closest trees, or we can start uh, setting the work area to uh, wherever we want. We can also increase the size of the work area, so as you can see, wow, we can build it extra, wow, extra large. All right, let's go ahead and cut down all the trees down here and assign three people there because we need to be able to build stuff ASAP. Okay. So one of our tasks is complete. The logging camp is constructed. Very good. Next goal is to build a granary and the storage area and stuff. Now, we have all the materials for this, so we just need Fritz to deliver it, but it'll be... Uh, It'll be done eventually. No rush, I suppose. But let's speed up time a little bit. Oop. Yep, that's good. We'll have to wait a little bit. Oh, they're cutting down trees. Suppressing fire. More wood is needed. Not enough wood, my lord. Wood needed, my lord. Wood needed. All right, cool. All right, they'll have plenty of timber. Now, one of the problems, though, is that uh, our little oxen has to go into the forest to grab those logs to bring it back to the logging camp. So it's a really slow process. Every time that we want to build something, Fritz has to come into the forest and grab the log, bring it back to the logging camp, then probably bring it from the logging camp to the storehouse, then bring it from the storehouse to wherever the construction site is, or bring it from the storehouse to the uh, fire cutter, so that way they can make firewood out of it. So it's, uh, it's something. It's certainly something. Yeah, it's a very slow, it's a massive bottleneck waiting for your uh, livestock to, uh, your oxen to do that, but I would recommend at least four. Work your way up to four um, oxen. And that'll definitely help you out. For sure. Looks like the granary is almost complete. Look at the detailing here. Incredible. I love how there's little uh, seesaws too as they're making planks and stuff out in front of the building. Looking great. You can actually peek inside too. There's actually floorboards inside there too. That's crazy. Alright, granary is complete, and then we'll have a forager hut, so we should be able to have food. Right now we do have enough food for two months, so we got a little bit of time. It's a little bit of time. I wonder if we can go inside this building. Let's check. Unplayable. Wow. Absolutely unplayable. As a gamer with the highest of standards, I am as angry as I am disappointed. Which is nothing at all. That was cool. Uh oh, I'm stuck now. I'm, I, di I don't mean it. I take it back. Best game ever. Let me out of here. Well, you know how it is with certain gamers. Some people judge everything by graphics, which means that Battlefield 2042 is the best game ever created. Terraria, Minecraft... Ball guys, those games that millions and millions and millions and millions of people have played, garbage. It's only graphics that matter, chat. Only graphics. Big brain emote in the chat if you know that is fact. Damn, this music's so good. What a beautiful game. I know. Um, for me, it's more the details. Like, look at this. 
not only do the tree trunks move around during wind, but also the branches and also the leaves. So it's like everything independently kind of... Each one of these trees is like independently alive. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And we'll be playing it every day this week. Every day. Forever. Best game ever. Alright, well, let's finish up uh, some of our construction projects. Oh, here comes the forger now. Should we stand around and watch? Let's be lazy, chat. We'll just... Let's backseat. Hey, yeah, uh, you didn't... Yeah, you should... Okay, don't put the... Yeah, don't... Yeah, that, that plank of wood there shouldn't go there. It should go the long way. Put it parallel to the other ones. Uh, parallel... No, par parallel's not a fruit. It's a... Uh, put it the same direction. There you go. Cool. Okay, now put two more of the things that you put down on the other side, too. Yeah, two more there is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm a manor lord, so you guys have to do what I tell you. Wow. Can you guys hurry up? I'm getting hungry. Yeah, put, put more roof triangles up. Yeah, we'll have more news on this game on the channel in the future, so make sure after you subscribe, do turn on the notification bell. When you see pop-ups for Manor Lords, you'll be the first to be notified of giveaways for this game, new news, release date, more new features, some of the warfare stuff. Definitely going to be good. I'm in no rush at all in this game, I feel. I mean, the faster we get things done, the faster it's like... You know what I mean? I don't know. I like being immersed here. This is very nice. Yeah, we need to uh, pull up with 3,000 concrete uh, mixers now. Start laying that slab foundation. Wow. Man, every little piece is, like, hammered into position. It's incredible. Just what I like about Farthest Frontier, just what I like about Ostrief. Crazy. Is that guy tired? He's doing a lot of yawning. Alright, so there's our granary. This is our forager hut. So we'll have food up and running now. Ah, there we go. Oh, can we go inside? Step aside, peasant. Wow. Oh, you guys did it wrong. I wanted... I wanted granite countertops. And where's my ISDN line? I work from home. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm getting out of here before you guys kill me. I'm going to back away slowly. Look at my shoes, yeah. They're very aerodynamic. Alright, good job guys. Excellent work. We did it. High five. High five. Ah, oh, that's alright. That's okay, I'm not mad. I'll have plenty more projects for you. You can't just walk away from... Okay, whatever. Well, I helped. All right, let's hire some people to work here. Hey, give us a hand over here. All right, so we want people to go gather berries. Blueberries? Oh, Chad, there's blueberry bushes in this game. Oh, are you in there, Chad? Chad, are you hiding in there? 
You should come out and use some of your new Halloween emotes. Don't be afraid. You can always click or tap join and become a member and upgrade your membership and all that chat. Are you in there? Who's over here? Is Morgan in this one? Where's Robert? Indrid, where are you? Where's Tan? Where's George? Red, are you here? How do these bushes keep... Wait, how do they keep disappearing when I get close? What the hell? Oh my god. It's like chat whenever I tell them to smash like. It's like, hey, could you guys support the channel? I just... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Chat never watches the streams. Alright, let's see. So now that'll be done shortly. The uh, remaining project down here. And that'll be step one complete. Oh, wow, the rain again, man. Jeez. That's why I, I really don't want to play this game on fast forward. I mean, what's the rush? It's so beautiful when it rains. One in the chat, by the way, if you think we're going to die during our first winter. Winter is coming. It is May already. Yeah, Boo Berries. It's Halloween, so yeah. Hey, look at that. Fritz dropped off another... Oh, he's working on uh, gathering logs now. So yeah, Fritz is picking up these logs here. Wherever they may be in the forest and bringing them back to the... Um, to the logging site. Do you think the second winner? Could be the second winner. Wow, he sounds like a Tyrannosaurus. I mean, a uh, Triceratops. Fritz is the goodest of boys. If, um... If the dev is watching, if there's not an oxen for the, uh... Like, one of the logos, needs to be added. Quest completed! Yeah! We did it, chat! We beat Manor Lords. Wait, no. Humble beginnings. Your supplies are dry and secure, and the first stage of work is done. The stories of your people the stories your people tell around the fire are of the many dangers in the world, from beasts to blights, strange tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage, or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise, or the fact that if you click or tap join today and you've never been a member of any channel on YouTube, you can get twenty percent off any level of membership. Click or tap join today and become a member. They tell stories to put common names to their fears. Soon, they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement. Now that they can take shelter in proper homes for your lands to prosper and grow, you'll need not only workers, but families. Construct a well and construct some plots. All right, let's do it. Strange uh, writing, by the way. I didn't know they knew about the join button back then. Alright, let's see. Wow, that rain, dude. Crazy. Um, so we need to build a well. Well, 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 well. And obviously we have to build it on well... Water. Like, under underground water. Oh, let's put it over here by the Forger Hut. That'll look cool. Although a little far from home. Ah, this will be fine. Now, if you build close to a road, the game will automatically connect, too. So what's kind of cool is that you can build like this. And the game will just kind of make a little path. Saves you a lot of time. I have angered the gaming gods. Alright, we're going to wait a little bit until we get enough timber. Each one of these houses will cost two timber. And so we're supposed to make, uh, how many homes? Five? So, chat, you do the math. Let me tab out and get my calculator. In the popular online game Manor Lords, Right, never mind. Yeah, we'll need about uh, 10 logs or so, I think. 
I'm, I'm not sure if the number of logs change, though, based on how large you make the plots for the home. So it's at least 10. It could be more. I'm not sure, though. I have to, I have to remember. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hello, Peter. Hey, Destructible. Thanks for becoming a member. I will give everybody else a shout-out. Uh, there seems to be a hell of a lot of excitement and a crazy amount of support. And I don't want it to take away from the game just yet. So I appreciate you, and I see you. I see you. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll have to speed up time as we wait for more stuff to come in. Oh. Fritz is uh, transporting still. Let's get a storehouse up so we can gather logs. Hi, Bear. How are you? Uh, we need to transport stuff into storage, but we just don't have enough people. Maybe I'll put... Um, I'm going to put somebody into the granary so they can store the food that we're getting right away. It could go bad. Wow, this rain is hard. Whoa. Better get to shelter. Whew. Where's my castle? Uh, it's in Disneyland, Florida. Disney World, I guess. Dude, look at that. You can see the rain hitting the damn roof. Look at that. Or, well, it looked like it. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, my God. I'm too tall. Impressive. Impressive. Uh, the release date is sometime next year, I believe, in 2023. But if the dev delays it, good. Take all the time you need. Don't rush anything. Perfect it. Perfect it. We should all be very patient. Because there is a hell of a lot already here. Did I build my character? Uh, yes and no. You basically pick a portrait. Like the guy in the upper right corner, but they don't they don't necessarily match. The character in the upper right corner does not really match the the person that you play as. But you know, it's just like an early demo and there's not really much you can do in that mode aside from look around. But it's nice that you can control a character and walk around in third person rather than just have like a photo mode. Which I think this game should have too, if it doesn't already have a photo mode. It would be cool to be able to take a photo. Of some of the stuff. Wow, the rain is so heavy. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Boys. Wow. 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 W Wendy symbol W. I'm in no rush. We're in no rush. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this, make, this makes you want to live here, yeah. 
Now, what would be, what would be amazing is we, we can build our own house in this game, known as our Lord's Manor. And it would be absolutely incredible if we could actually go inside that structure with our character. Uh, here it is here, the Manor House. That'd be amazing if we were actually able to go into that structure and walk around ourselves. That'd be incredible. Hopefully soon. Wow. All right, we got about half the timber we need. We'll we'll play on tier uh, speed two now. I'm not. I'm still not really in a rush, but there's not much we can do as we wait. Juan, thank you very much, dude, for the support. I, I again, I will give a complete shout out to everybody towards the uh, end of the stream here. I'm just having too much fun. I'm really in awe that I get to play even more now. Smiley. Yeah, zooming out, we can actually see clouds and stuff, too. So, like, from about here, you can see volumetric clouds. Which will change based on the weather. Whether it's uh, foggy or whether it's snowing. You'll see the uh, cloud cover break up a little bit as the rain is stopping. Very cloud, much volume indeed. You hope you can build re really big cities? From what I've seen from the dev, it does appear that there's three types of tiers of construction so far. If we take a look at total population, you can see that we have uh, peasants, burgers, Wendy's, the Wendy's family, and artisans. So it looks like we'll be able to upgrade houses three times. And the houses kind of work like how it does in Anno 1800 or in the Sierra City Builder games where... They have prerequisites. They have needs that need to be met before uh, they will like upgrade their house. So, for example, when these houses uh, are going to be upgraded, when we build houses, they'll need things like um, two types of food, two types of clothing. They'll have to have faith, and they'll have to have um, something else. I forgot what it is. We'll s we'll see though. All right, our seventh log is returned. We're going to need to get houses very soon. We'll get to 10 we'll get to 10 timber and then we'll build the five houses that we need. Sick clouds, bro? Do you vape? Yeah, the the environment certainly seems to. Is that mango? Alex. Very nice. Alright, well now we have ten logs, so let's go ahead and make the houses we needed to. And we'll start with good old gridiron. Haters gonna hate. All right, flexible plots. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place up to four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to the roads and other plots to try and create organic shapes. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. Now this is important. The extension upgrades are the only way that you can get vegetable farms and the only way that you can get chicken coops and I think goats. So uh, we'll we'll try to build it as big as possible in order to get the bonus, but small enough to where we can fit many, many more people in there as much as possible. Oh boy. And then you can also rotate like this. Nice. Let's try to find the perfect fit. We also want to have an area for our marketplace. Oh, not enough resources. We need a few more, a few more logs. It won't hurt to have a few more logs, so let's continue to uh, wait for logs to come in. 
Logs equal homes equals people equals productivity. Nothing will get done without having a higher population. We can build buildings all day, but nothing will get done without people. Uh, oh, he's moving them over to storage. I think that's an unnecessary move. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of medieval city skylines, yeah. It's a very good observation. Very good indeed. Bum, bum, bum. I think the ox will go out and gather more wood as soon as the... Uh, more trees have been felled in that area, I think. I also think trees that will uh, also regrow. We can build a for uh, forester building, but trees, I think, will automatically regrow in the game. Now we gotta, gotta get more people to work these jobs. Alright, we have 13, maybe 14 logs shortly. Alright, let's go ahead and try to build another housing plot now. Our first housing plot. A little too short. Ah, Quain, thank you. We'll get to shout-outs a little bit later today. I want to make sure this gets a plus as well, because we want every single house to be able to contribute to farming. We want them to be able to grow vegetables. We want them to be able to take care of chickens. There we go. That's more like it. And 12. Perfect. Much better. It begins! It begins. Damn, this music is too good. I wonder if we can rename our oxen. We can buy more. This is where the big slowdown is going to be for a while until we've got more people to work some more jobs. Of course, all these logs need to be delivered, so it's two per home. Gonna take a while. Hope you guys don't mind waiting. Back, can you guys believe this? Back in the Middle Ages, I just found this out a couple of days ago. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but they didn't have, uh, back in like medieval times, they didn't have same day delivery. I think they had to like wait three, maybe four days. Oh, could you imagine that? Like you order something online in your hovel and it takes four days to arrive? I don't know how people lived back then. I, have, I just have no idea. 
horrific, yeah. Like you you order a new tunic for your seventh child and it takes five days to arrive. Barbaric. I guess maybe it was just because uh, you know, roads were muddy. Our Raptor Manor Lords looks wonderful. I think you're right. It looks beautiful. But it's fun to play. I'm starting to experience the subtle nuances of what uh, brings this, um, what makes this game a little bit different. Right now, I want to get more oxen, but I know I first need more people to do some of the other jobs. Like, we want to get the uh, forager hut filled up completely so we have enough food for winter. Because our first winter, we're really not going to be able to produce much in terms of food. Especially since we don't have, uh, well, wait a minute. Maybe wild animals showed up. I guess not. I'm hoping that some of these wild animals will migrate over to our, our lands. But if not, we'll have to go over there. Ooh, look at the river. Yeah, no, no same-day delivery back then. No Amazon Prime. Guys, I don't even know if they had microwaves. Reading the news and just found the article about Manor Lords. This is an awesome way to go, Raptor. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you. I think they still had drive throughs though. They had, like, carts, right? I think they worked. You know, one thing I've noticed about this game, too, is that it looks like the roads will also change their size based on traffic. So, as you can see, a lot of people are walking down this road. So this road's a little wider in front of the homes. But the roads are a little smaller here. And also, as the people uh, actually get homes, these homeless tents will disappear. They'll automatically... It's kind of like how it is in Austria. They'll automatically move out and this will disappear. And uh, same with the firewood, too. As soon as the... Um, whoever's working in the storage hut, if we have anybody working there, eventually the starting supplies and stuff will all go into uh, storage. And then we can build there. Oh, there goes our first home. Check out I'm Now Evil Chat. I'm working for the HOA. I work for the Hobble Owners Association. I'm not seeing enough cracks in the foundation. Uh, that hammer is not ergonomic. Why don't you step out and take the day off? Um, excuse me, is that is that locally sourced lumber that you're using for that mallet, sir? Sir? Don't you ignore me. Hold on, just to check. Do you guys think I can jump the ramp? This is a big moment. Can you jump the ramp in Manor Lords? What do you guys think? Ones if yes, twos if no. Darth Santa's got to know. You better vote now. Operators are standing by. All right, tell you what. If I can't jump over this ramp, I will do a giveaway in the Discord. If I clip through it, if I fall through it, We'll do a giveaway after the stream on the Discord. But it's only for people who are subscribed. That's all part of my evil plan. You have to subscribe for free, and I'll do a free giveaway on the Discord. For free. If you sub for free. All part of uh, pure evil. Pure. It's like Nestle evil. Are you all ready? Oh, there's a fence in my way. Hi, Fritz! Wow, heavy traffic today. Two people pass by each other. That's like a first in this town. All right, y'all ready? All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, damn. Now I got to do a giveaway in the Discord. Darn it. Ah, chat, you win. Uh, now I'm going to have to give away prizes. Damn it. Ah, I hate doing free giveaways in the Discord with the link down below in the description. Damn it. All right, you guys won. Hey, but the house looks nice. Good job, guys. You're fired. Also, please stay. I need you. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh well, it's almost done. Like one one more one more nail needs to be hammered into place. There you go. Get that nail. Hell yeah. Beat the devil out of it. There we go. Fritz, relax. Jeez. Watch out for supplies. Peasants are coming to your village. This is great, but watch out for your supplies. Hungry and cold peasants can rebel. A rebel alliance? I cannot allow that. I better build something... A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Ooh. They're actually really mad at me. Homelessness minus six. We're working on it. We're working on it. Jeez. Alright. I think they're mad at me at complaining in third person mode too much. Remind me chat to double their HOA dues. For no reason. Like the HOA. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, as soon as somebody moves in, we're going to get another person here in the storehouse so everything can be functioning. Whoa! Is there lightning, bro? Oh god, it's going to hit the town and we're dead. Trying to pause it. Oh, oh. We have angered the algorithm. Not enough people who have put a lowercase q in the chat. I think that has angered the algorithm. Oh, yeah. It's mad. Each one of these houses are completely custom, too, by the way. I haven't seen any sort of uh, decoration in the game so far, but I would like to see the ability to customize these houses a little bit. I mean, this is a perfect game. Love it. Nothing nothing should change at all. It's, a it's complete. Release it now. It's great. No, but seriously, I think there could be a few things that could be improved upon. Um, now that would be a lot better to, uh, to see improved in the future. Hopefully with time. Time heals all wounds. Certainly, certainly good. Yeah, the combat uh, stuff is still missing. With it, you know, this is incomplete, but the game is certainly very, very hardcore realistic for sure. With the ability to actually recruit a military and to be able to have different classes of people in that military of uh, militia and such, and different classes of, like, cavalry and whatnot. From a city builder? That's pretty crazy, man. Like, I'd expect that from, like, a Total War game, for sure, but, like, in a city builder like this? Wow. All right, let's speed up time a little bit until these houses are done. Looks like we got seven people in the city. Let's keep waiting for the construction to complete. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can actually see our city drawn out on the map. Yeah, you can see where our logging camp is down here. Where the city is. Actually shows your settlement on the map. Another settlement needs our help, so I'll mark it on your map chat, don't worry. We'll get to it soon. All right, well, uh, let's see. Foraging is taking place. How are we doing on food? 22 berries, 5 bread, good. Firewood. We're going to have to make a firewood stand, too. Uh, in this game, it is called the... The Woodcutter Lodge. So that'll allow us to turn uh, wood into firewood, then. Let's build that maybe over here. All right, cool.
So the woodcutter lodge is kind of associated with the storehouse because they store logs here. And the woodcutter is here anyway, so boom, boom, boom. Three very close buildings together there. We'll need to build it eventually, so. Yep, this definitely reminds me of Anno, Farthest Frontier, Banished, Ostrieve. Yep, all those games put together. And of course, uh, Total War as well. Hey, we got another house being constructed. Oh, this music is wonderful. Chop, chop. Very nice. Oh, we have some influence now, too. We have 35 influence. So we're certainly gaining power. Soon it will be unlimited. Alright, we're now into the late summer. How's happiness now? 38. Alright, so it's improving as we're building more homes. Uh, they're a little upset about no food variety and no fuel available. We're working on that as well. Actually, there is firewood available, we just don't have a marketplace for it just yet. We can put the market down here by the road. You've never heard of this game, would I recommend it? I would. A free demo for everybody to download right now from Steam? Couldn't recommend it enough. But make sure you go to Steam, look for Manor Lords, add it to your wish list, and download the demo, and you should be good to go. Raise the taxes? Yeah, we can do that when we build a tax office, but that's going to be a little bit later. Yes, we can build farms. We're just waiting to get our population up now. We've got 11 people living here, but no other unassigned families. I'm waiting to get more, like, uh, population out of it. A few things that kind of stun lock you at the beginning of the game, but once the ball starts to roll, boy, does it start rolling. Oh, yeah. Hey, give us a hand over here. All right, we have uh, three homes complete, number four going up now. Once we get to five, happiness should start going up a lot. A lot faster. Can we upgrade the roads? I haven't seen an option to do that just yet. But that would be fantastic. Oh boy, rain again. Man, it rains so much. Should we go hide in a tent? That much rain, it must be Scotland. This would be Raptoria. And as we take over each of these different uh, territories, to which, yes, we can control all of this. And we can name each of those districts whatever we'd like.
Are we gathering more timber? Where where is our boy? Oh, there we go. All right, house number four completed. Now house number five. Now one of the things that we can do with these houses is uh, under the this little button here where it says construct extension, what we can do is we can actually click on like um, each of these buttons to make the house specialized in certain things. So we can actually uh, we can click on the vegetable garden. And this this is the only way to grow vegetables in the game is to have the uh, the peasants do it from their actual home so it's kind of like keeping the farmers in Anno 1800 like you don't want to upgrade everybody fully you want some people still being assigned to farms so you can have a vegetable garden in the back of those buildings you can have a chicken coop or you can have a goat shed uh, but sheep have to be done kind of on a larger scale so goats chickens and vegetables can be grown and uh, raised by the individual house owner and then the sheeps and such can be put in the uh, the sheep farms with the in, in the pens and stuff and they also need a pasture, too. Why do you make them work when it's raining? I mean, when is it not raining at this point? Oh, look at the home construction, bro. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, can individual peasants gain more wealth and bigger houses? I think we can choose which houses we want to upgrade. So when we upgrade a house, uh, it might be able to keep the previous upgrades, like, for example, a chicken coop. But I'm not sure if they'll actually lose it. We'll see. We will see. Oh, man, the music is so good. So good. Ooh, another house complete. Okay, so we needed at least five houses to get everybody, ho like, the homeless plot done. So now they don't have to live here anymore. Now we can start adding on. Every house past five will be one more person in the city. So we need to add, like, uh, preferably, like, 12 houses if we can. So that way we can get 12 families. Because just like in Olive Garden chat, when you're here... Your family. If you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Settlement level increased. We're now a small village. A new development point. A new message has arrived. Comforts and conveniences. As you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking, and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing, and firewood, they would be happier and have more time for other work. They want us to build, or rather upgrade, two of the plots to level two, and they want us to build a food stall, a firewood stall, and a clothing stall. We have 1,800 days to do this, so this is going to take a while. Booster, thank you very much for the support, dude. Boost, Boostoria, Boostopia, welcome aboard, dude. Good to see you. All right, so now we get into some real endgame stuff. So this is where it becomes a little bit like Anno. If we click on these buildings here, um, we can actually see that they require two types of food. So they want two, two varieties, so something like meat and berries or meat and bread, that kind of thing. Two types of clothing, so something like leather and uh, also like yarn, something out of wool. And then entertainment, they want a tavern that works, and also faith. Faith is probably the easiest one. You just build a church and boom, you're done. You don't have to like put anybody in the church or anything like that. Um, entertainment might take a little longer because you do have to work on farming for that. So you'll have to actually grow the barley in order to make beer and whatever else might be required, or ale or whatever. Um, it might also take a cooper to make barrels, but I haven't seen that in the game just yet. So some things might actually be, um...
some things might like be a little different based on it just being like an incomplete game at the moment. Some of the recipes might be short or whatnot. Like for example, I don't see a way to make uh, charcoal in the game. Like charcoal's a thing, but I haven't seen like a charcoal kiln, so we'll have to see how that works. All right, let's build some more homes, shall we? Oh, we can't. We need more timber. So now we got to wait for Fritz to do a little bit more building for us. So here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to build a trade depot so we can get money. And then we're going to use that money to buy more livestock so we can get more oxen working. So we can have like two oxen working on gathering logs and bringing them here. And then we're going to have more oxen bring it to town so it can actually be used in construction projects. So let's do that. Also, I'm trying to cut down all these trees purposely so we can build a farm down here. It looks like there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, uh, fertility down here for the different types of crops. Also, I think we can raise fertility. This game does have crop rotation, so mm, for those of you who want that juicy realism for uh, farming, it's it's there. It's, it's pretty good. All right, let's build ourselves a uh, trade depot. We'll build a trading post on the road, I suppose. Makes sense, right? Hell yeah, brother. We need to gather four timber and then another two timber. So we need six. Then we'll be able to make our uh, additional far uh, our additional uh, post or whatnot. Hopefully we can survive our first winter. It is now September. It is now September of year one. Low on food. Try building a hunting camp if you have wild animals, which we don't. Or a forager hunt if you have berry deposits, which we do. Unfortunately, we A, need more people, and B, it's going to be winter soon, so those are just going to die off. So we could build more of those forager huts, but it will be too late to take advantage of them. So we're going to have to do what we call dieting. Well, we'll either have to diet or we'll die. It. But the nice thing about Raptorian graveyards is that people are dying to get in, so at least there's going to be a high demand. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That echoing. You ever go into a gymnasium where they're playing basketball? That's what that sounds like. Someone tossing the b-ball back and forth. You know I'm young and hip because I call it b-ball. Right, kids? No. Alright. Oh, we're also building the woodcutter, too. We're going to need that for winter. Yeah, we could build a vegetable garden in the back of the one of the, one of the houses. That's true. But I don't know... One of the problems is I don't have much to trade at the moment. I'm not sure how I'm going to make money. Because I don't really have much to trade. I would like to trade pelts, but we don't have hunting. So maybe I can trade credit? Maybe I can trade my credit card. Is that a thing? We'll see. Well, we could do carrots. We could try. Maybe. It's already September, though. I think... October, November, it would work. We'll see. Where are the women and children? They should be in the homes, although I'm not sure if children are modeled in just yet. But we'll see. We shall see. Gold mines? I haven't seen a gold mine. But there is an iron mine, so we might be able to mine the iron. That might actually work. Good point. Let's see how much that would be. Oh! It only costs one log to do that? Wow. Alright. Well, that's easy. All right. Well, we just need some more logs then, so let's speed up time a bit. 
No matter what we do, we need more timber, so... We just need more of it to be delivered. Let's let's make one of these into a carrot farm for sure. Although I hate to spend the tools now, we need it. Construction started. So now the family here will come out and start farming the land as we give them orders to do. And then, yeah, you're right, that would add more food variety. Uh, it seems to be much easier at the start of the game to just import the tools. They're relatively cheap. And it's very valuable to be able to make those... Like, to put those tools into... Um, to put those tools into the houses is a very valuable thing. Making more food, bringing in more people. Alright, we have another house completed. Excellent. Uh, I'm not sure how far you can upgrade the houses to in, in the demo. I'm not sure. Yeah, much more wood will be needed. Well, let's save up wood for our trading first before we do mining. You want me to go to Poland? I am I am part Polish, so that'd be cool. Well, at least we have 25 berries and 5 bread. We don't have too many people. 18 is a good number. Okay, um, we have another person to work. Let's put them into the storehouse, maybe? No, let's do food. Yeah, let's gather, let's gather food from the forager hut. And we'll wait till we have more timber. Something like that would be nice. We would be able to get a lot of people and we could max out a lot of those jobs quickly. Including more berries up here. 104, wow. And another 96 over there too. But first things first, we gotta max out our current jobs in order to have the maximum efficiency. We have homelessness of three. Oh, that was the past year. Recent month, none. So it looks like all needs are taken care of right now. Everything they wanted is okay for now. Uh, we need six timber to do my plan of speeding up building. That's going to help us immense, immensely. I think we should do that for the Operation uh, Fritz. Oh, things are going well. Now, one of the more unfortunate things is, remember, in this demo, we're not able to save our cities at the moment, so everything that we do here will eventually have to start over in our next stream. But the developer is adding hotfixes pretty much, like, every hour to this game. He's continuously working on it and updating the updates to update to update. So there could be changes to that at any moment. Who knows, there could be a change to it. Did you just see War Horse Studios? Yep. Mm. 
Okay. We want six uh, lumber now. Six timber. And this will be good. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that was weird. Okay, anyway. Will there be mods for this game? That's a good question. That would definitely be something cool to see. Wow. The oxen sounds like a damn triceratops, dude. Okay, we need one more timber and then we should be able to build our trading depot. There we go. Alright, so let's do the uh, two trading depots now. I think you only have one hitching post. One of my first thoughts on the game, I did put up a video earlier today, so if you missed it, I do go into a little bit more detail on some of my first impressions on things, discovering it for the first time. Pretty amazing. I like what I see, and I want to see more. Let's go ahead and build our trade depot. So that's right, yep, trading post. Now, I don't think there's going to be fertility over here, is there? Oh. Okay, so we don't, we don't want to build anywhere over there. So we probably should build here. Yeah, this seems like a game made for gamers by a gamer. You know what I mean? Like it seems like this is... This person's not making this ma game to make money. Although they need to eat and pay their rent too, but... Um, yeah, no, this is... There, there's pure love here. Pure passion. Wow, that music though. I would like to build fences to also like break up some of these buildings to separate them a bit. Like keep the logging area kind of as its own industry. Not too big of a deal though. All right, let's build our trade depot here. And let's build the livestock trading post here. Try not to uproot any trees in the process. Come on, people. Get to work. And then... Ta-da! Alright, cool. Alright, lots for Fritz to do now. Luckily, he doesn't have to go too far. He's gonna be eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. All right, and he made it. Good. That was a long distance. He's bound to die, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to... Oh, does that happen every time? Is that medieval music? Sure, yeah. Thank you very much for your support as well. He's bound to die. All right. Grow some potatoes, my lord. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have access to potatoes. We do have flax. We have barley. We have rye. We have emmer. We have carrots, or vegetables. Which could be cabbage, carrots. Pineapples to put on pizza, you know, those types of things. Typical things that you'd expect in an environment like this. Necessities for survival, right, chat? Pineapple plus pizza is like oxygen plus water, right? Grapes for wine. Now, I haven't seen that, but I would like to see that. I've not seen orchards or uh, grape slash winemaking, you know? But I would like to see something like that. All right, so this trade depot should allow us to get more oxen, which will speed up our wood production, which means that we can build stuff a hell of a lot faster. It's one of the things that I learned in my first kind of playthrough is that uh, one ox really bottlenecks things quite a bit. Yeah, multiple oxen to work faster, right? I want to try to get four in total.
All right, let's oversee some construction here. All right, trading post is complete. And I want to put somebody in there too. So we can get some money for that. see how are we doing on food uh, I don't really want to take anybody off food production that's too risky we could do a reduction of wood though until we've got that going Come on, people. Get to work. so through this menu we can choose what we buy and sell but we can also have traveling traders go to the edge of the map too for us and buy and sell things that way I'm not exactly sure how this works yet so I'm still kind of learning but yeah, yeah, we can hunt. Uh, we can't do that in our region. There's no animals, but hunting is the thing. Forging, farming, buying food, making bread. All, all of our legit things. Well, we'll see. All right, goal now is to buy livestock. We need to first generate regional wealth. I think if... Just by having the trading post open, we don't have to trade. I think we just might generate funds automatically. I'm not sure. All right, let's add somebody to our trading depot. Add somebody to our food. Cool. Oh, it looks like we're actually growing carrots and cabbage. Uh-oh. Alright, vegetables should be ready soon. And how are we doing on firewood? 20? Okay. Alright, I want to finish gathering as much berries as we can. Forty-three remaining. Hmm, nothing I really want to sell or that I should. Interesting. somebody to work in the firewood place though well since we have a vegetable farm I'm gonna shut that down and make a wood cutter now Let's get to work. goal now is to try to have like uh, maybe 40 firewood Still going to be a slowdown, though, because Fritz has to bring that log over. So it could be chopped up into firewood. Pretty cool. Finally, Manor Lords. Yes, indeed. What is a firewood stall? It's basically just a market stall that sells firewood to the townsfolk. They can get it regardless, but their walk is a little further, as the lore in the previous little section mentioned. They'll have to walk a little further for it, but we need pre we need people to work at the marketplaces. So even if we build those, we need people to operate those buildings. So the population increase is going to be next, which is why I'm trying to get more uh, more timber and more animals to trade. I would like to buy four oxen, and I really don't know what we could sell. Being of any value that we can spare. Everything else is kind of risky to sell at the moment.
could add a few more homes. Not a good idea to add more homes, though, while we're going into winter. Also need to buy another tool. We'll need a tool for the farm, and so we can't do farming until we get another tool now. Let's try to trade fire. Oh, we can trade firewood. Yeah, we need more. We need money. Well, it looks like the firewood uh, cutter actually cuts its own wood. That I did not know. Regardless, let's do the same over here. Uh, the music is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going to need a lot of people. So we may as well begin. Also, it might be a good idea to build um, gridiron like this to try to fit as many buildings in because you do need to build defenses, and so thus the more things you build close together. Uh, the cheaper it is to build a wall around it. Thank you, Daniel, for the two, bro. Okay, we have no more food coming in from berries. This is going to be a hell of a fight to survive. Previous playthroughs, I've had berries and meat available at the same time and been able to farm quite easy. We'll see how it plays out soon. Oh, looks like we made one. We made our first dollar chat. Wow. We did it. So it's going to take 10 to import, so we need... Well, we need 30 to import the three remaining. Two extra people. Uh, what could we do? Firewood. Let's go, people. We'll try to make some more sales on firewood. Oh boy. It begins. Stock damaged by weather. Supplies. Somebody didn't store that stuff yet. Okay, we need the storehouse to be working. Let's have two people work there because there's, there's free firewood sitting right here. Eight, so we can grab that. Oh boy, it begins. The first winter. Luckily, we have two months of food supply. We don't have too many people, so it could... 
39 berries and 5 bread is a lot of food. That's a pretty good amount. Look at the snow accumulating. Wow, look at that. Wow. I'm nervous, Smiley. Damn, look at how beautiful that looks. By the way, have you seen this? Honestly, I think this rocks. There's been many ideas in gaming, but this is probably the boulder of all the ideas I've seen. Yeah, that's right, chat. We're a Sith Lord. That's right. Hey, pal, you got any pizza rolls? Wow. Hey, apparently more wood is needed. Okay. Okay. All right, then. That's fine. Not mad at all. Well, we are earn we're earning passive income by having that shop open, the uh, trade depot, but now we've earned two coin. So I guess if we're not selling anything, it, maybe they're doing like small deals where it's like interpersonal and we're charging tax on it. Like Craigslist. It's like a flea market. People can come down and sell used, uh, what did serfs own? Well, nothing. Used nothing. Yeah, as I mentioned before, luckily the uh, livestock does not take any sort of... Um, at the moment, it doesn't take anything to feed them or house them, so they're just kind of like free transport. Uh, there is, in the trailers, it does show oxen plowing fields and such, so I'm not sure if we can do that currently or if that's something the dev's still working on. Wow. So we're now in the summer months in Canada. Wow. Majestic. And we have a free worker. Add them to the trading post. I'll add that person there too. Damn, the, oh, did the winter, oh, is the music for the winter changing? I don't think we've heard this one. Wow. Our influence is now 115. Muy bueno. Raptor increase the houses. Well, we are building additional homes. It's not a great idea because we have limited food. But I feel like by the time they're done with these houses, it'll be... Uh, spring again, and so then we can try to get everybody to immediately start working uh, on, um... Uh-oh. The final showdown. Uh-oh, wait. Let's increase the number of people at Firewood. Uh oh, now it's getting serious. That is the dying to death music. This is a really, really hard uh, spawn, honestly. 
but we are on the standard build, so... Well, the hunting is kind of random. I guess you could restart the game a few times until you get an optimal setup. I would say the optimal setup would be like two wild animals, two berries, and like iron. But actually, here would have been good. Wild animals, berries, and then uh, stone. But the good news is, is if we die, we get to start somewhere else. And if we leave our save anyway, the game gets wiped. So it's not like we'd be... You know, people are going to panic and freak out and be like, how did you die to death? But it's like, yeah, but we're going to lose the city anyway. So. We'll see. Also, I think we can stop home constructions by putting it to zero. Oh, we have fuel. Firewood is coming in. Uh, the chickens only produce eggs. I'm not sure if you can cull a herd of animals or like a, a group of chickens or whatnot, but it does specifically state that they produce eggs. And I don't know if they need to be fed. Obviously, they should, but I don't know if this game yet programs it in because the oxen don't need to be fed yet either. So I don't know if the chickens actually eat the grain or if it's just automatic, like, magical food timer. Construction finished. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. The person's not going to freeze. We're pulling out of it, boys. Yeah! We're doing it. We have two firewood. The freezing alert went away. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Woo! We're pulling out of it. The city must survive. Wait, where the hell have I heard that before? Anyway, uh, let's get somebody else assigned. We need more men at the camp. We need more men at the camp. The music is more optimistic now. Yeah, instead of uh, guaranteed death, we've now entered surefire death territory. I wish I could show you guys my other save, but I do have a video series on the channel. I'd like to release episode 2 today and show you guys even more of a different build in Manor Lords 2, where I, you know, obviously played ahead a little bit because it, it, it exists ahead of time. As it's been played ahead. So I'd like to show you more. Oh yeah, this must be the hopeful music. This is when the uh, camera pans across the galaxy. And then we see uh, Luke next to the crashed X-Wing in Bag Dagobah. And it's just like, oh, huh. Wow, this music, oh my god. Oh, I got goosebumps, boys. This is like when you go into the little Debbie aisle and they're out of those oatmeal cream pies. And all they have left are those uh, gross-ass pink snowballs. And you're like... But it's a silent film. You know, you can't really scream at the grocery store. It'd be rude. So you just drop to your knees and maybe tip over your cart on your way down. It's like that scene when, uh, well, spoilers for Breaking Bad. When um, Hank gets killed and Walt drops to the ground. It's like that. You did not survive your first winter. Uh, it's not easy. That's why I'm playing on a little slower. 
Just a little slower speed. Did the storehouse get all of its wood? Yes, it did pick up the pile. It says supplies, but there's nothing there. You like this pink snowballs? I mean, you can have more for you then. Th those are yours. You can have them. Okay, more wood cutting, please. So we should be able to get three more workers with the houses. And I, I think maybe we'll set up a market maybe over here. Not sure. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you for being helpful. I see it going on. We now have four coins. Yay! Will we survive with our current food? I... Oh boy. I decline to comment on this matter. No comment. Waiting for somebody to die of dysentery? Yeah, I don't know what kind of diseases will be in this game. Certainly they do hint at uh, people getting ill in the winter. I think if they don't have warm clothing, or if it's just more higher chance of it. Since, uh, you know, like, you can wrap up all you want, but it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to get sick if you're out logging all day. Brother, yeah. All right, we're standing by. Bum, bum, bum. Damn, dude, this music is so good. Uh, which of these two games do you like best? You played both Farthest Frontier or this one? Um, I mean, it's, it kind of depends on what the what mood I'm in. You know, Farthest Frontier kind of allows you to build a little bit more defensively, and it plays a little bit more like Anno. This plays a little bit more offensively, like uh, Total War, but also a little bit like Ostrieve, so it's like what combination I'm feeling for the day. Right now, I'm super ultra-mega hyped for this, and I'm happy to be... I mean, look at that. You got smokes coming out of the sides of the houses here, the ventilation, and it's all going the same direction. Uh oh. High noon. Down at the No Food Saloon. When do the berries come back? March through May, frequent raining, berry deposits regrow. Dear God. If we can make it to next month, boys, we just gotta make it one more month. New member, welcome. Oh my god. Thanks to all you guys for support. I'm gonna give shout outs at the end, I promise. Oh my god. Oh, we got lots of firewood, that's good. Let's keep stacking that up. Take a look here at all of our jobs. Let's go, people. 
I bought a little bit of food. I bought some veggies. Oh, baby. This is a brutal start, man. Can we buy more food? You made a fry fritz? Oh my god. He's the only one doing actual work in this town. He's our he's our big old tractor trailer. Well, considering that I have a little bit of experience in this game ahead of time, this is probably the most uh, difficult setup I've seen. All berries is all bad, because it takes a hell of a lot of people to gather them. Obviously, hunting can take place year-round, and then, of course, you can sell the pelts, but berries are just kind of like, deal with it. Berries are like, oh, that's nice. Oh my god. It's thawing. That's why you make jam? Yeah, if I could get big money masuk here to drop off three million jars, I'd appreciate that. Let me move this person over here and hope to god that we can buy an oxen. As soon as it hits March, uh, the only way to really track days in this game, too, I've noticed, is by, like, once you have farming, it'll tell you how many days until a certain food group or whatever is ready, a certain crop type. Dude, as soon as the berries are ready, we're going all in. We're going to go oops all berries. We're going boo berry, oops all berry, blueberry. How do you move the blueberry bushes in Farthest Frontier? We're going all in. Sir William, thanks for the 26, bro. More shoutouts to come. Come on, baby, we gotta get to March. March, baby, come on. The High Noon Showdown. I love it. This town ain't big enough for anybody. At least the pantry ain't. Well, it looks like crops might... Are they going to harvest? I don't know. I don't know what the rotation on these crops are. It looks like they're still a little frosty, but have they grown? I'm just going to put people in there ready to go as soon as it starts. Uh, let's take people out firewood. And go all in. Go, baby, go. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Come on, baby. Should be able to import another oxen now. Oh my god, we're making money. Selling the firewood too. Yeah, March the berries start. Work area empty, yeah, for now. Standing by.
Oh my god, we got one. We got one vegetable. We got all right. We got one carrot to sliver up between thirty-three people. It's gonna be razor thin. Also, if people die in this game, there's no real consequence in terms of having to bury them just yet. With it being incomplete, I don't think there's a burial system just yet. Come on, baby. Oh, it's March, thank God. Come on, where are the berries? Let's go. Come on, it's March, let's go. Come on, berries, let's go. This is very important. Yeah, graves appear at the church. I'm not sure if it's a requirement, though. Well, I think it might impact on happiness less if there's a place to bury them, but I'm not entirely sure. Come on, it's March. Come on. Give me the berries. Oh, berry setup suck. If you start into a spawn and you have multiple berries, just get out. Make sure you got one berry and one, uh... Uh, one, uh... Animal thingy or whatever. One hunting zone. That way you can get the two different um, starting zones. Oh, death hunger. It begins. Come on, man. It's March. Get those berries. Let's go. May March through May. Frequent raining. Berry deposits regrow. Lies. All right, we'll see if we can hold out. Also, I'm trying to buy a bunch of uh, vegetables and stuff too. Okay. We can do this. Hold the line. All right, berries are active. All right, food network is set up. Not on TV, I mean in our town. Berries are coming in. Ooh, all right, wow. That was fun. Yeah, I'll be doing a bunch of tutorials and uh, telling a lot more information about what we find out about this game in a couple of videos. Actually, a video going live today will show some more information about farming and some other stuff too so make sure you guys subscribe turn on that notification bell and a giveaway for everybody watching right now on the discord you just have to subscribe that's all free so make sure you do wow berries are coming back in damn it wasn't as bad as i thought that was that was not easy but that was not as bad as i thought it was going to be Thankfully. Okay, let's just see if we can import one. We just need one ox. Chaos, thank you very much for the support, man. Well, we, we might be able to build a hunting lodge and go out there and get that. I'm not sure, though. I don't really want to experiment if we don't really have the materials at the moment, though. It's a first playthrough, so I'm trying to play a little bit more cautiously. But you might be right. It might work. It may work. All right, so now we got food. We got fuel. We got people moving back in. 
We got homes. We got hope. No, that left a while ago. Okay. Remember, welcome. Come on, baby. Give me one oxen, please. Oh, we can either trade from here or we can do it from the uh, building. Same thing. That's helpful. that purdy It's a pretty town. We need to gather more berries, though. We need more people for that. It looks like there's 96 plus another 104 plus another 80. Let's see. Did we get a second ox? Still no. Oh, the price is now 10. I thought it was 4. Oh, that explains that. There we go. It's 10. We need 40. Uh, 30, actually. Then we'll have 4 total. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, there's water in this game. It's mostly rivers. I haven't seen any lakes or shorelines yet. But maybe soon. Soon. Yeah, the buildings have somewhat a uh, variation. I've been most... This is really cookie-cutter uh, gridiron. And I want to play a little bit more freely than this, but this is a good way to kind of learn to see the limitations of the game and uh, to do things differently by... You know, do all sorts of different builds. Do a... Uh, Gridiron build, do kind of a curvy build, do a large build, small build, that kind of thing. Did it say you could buy oxen with influence? I don't think so. Well, that's weird. It says oxen, current price two, stock one. Maybe that's the sale price? That's not buying, it's a bribe. Oh, wow. Well, the more we know now. I guess now we, we finally know. The more we know. Yep, that's true. Can we upgrade the oxen with a cart? Um, well, there is a way where we can upgrade to a cart here. Upgrade with trading cards. Trading cards allow to transport 20 goods in one trip. I think that's related, though, to the trading post and what comes to it. So I don't think it'll help the ox, which is why I'm trying to get another one. But I need to save up for 10 now. And try to gather every single berry I can. All right, we're going to have all berries. Oops, all berries. 
Buying, bribe, same thing. True. When am I building the market? When I have more people to actually run it. Need to get a few more people. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I guess we'll have to build the homes for it. Uh. Well, we need to wait until we... Oh, now we're good. I really don't want to have more people, though, because that's more mouse to feed. Hmm. Let's try over here. Blueberry bushes detected. What am I going to invade Booster? Well, I don't think this, this will be multiplayer, but I will raid Booster maybe. Some time on our stream. He deserves the love. Alright, so that'll give us some more blueberries up there. And anybody on a sign can help to construct, but it's going to take a while for uh, Fritz to haul up there. Yeah, the market needs workers to deliver to the homes. It makes it more optimized, at least. In my experience, otherwise things don't get uh, delivered. But who knows, there's been like 10 patches since I played last night, so who knows? Maybe now you can build a Wendy's, I don't know. We'll experiment, we'll see. Uh, I want to build a... Darn, now I forgot. little bit of coinage. Oh. Let's see. Let's go to trade. Um, I guess we can do it from here. Firewood. Okay, that's fine. Need to buy more tools too so we can do farming. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Bum, 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 bum. The music is so nice. The game looks great, I agree. It's certainly a noteworthy game, that's for sure. Um. Alright, uh, let's see. I want to add more people to 
berry gathering once it's done up here. That's that's a long haul though. I don't know if we'll be able to store enough. I don't think that's gonna be enough food. Now let's generate some more firewood. What's up, Dragon House? Thanks for the uh, kind wishes in the chat. Hope you're doing well as well. Thank you. Also, we're going to have to build a church, and the church is rather... probably one of the larger buildings at the moment. I don't know why these guys are so tired with all the yawning all the time. I just don't get it. Yeah, the uh, houses can be upgraded. What it requires is two food types, two clothing types, entertainment, and faith. So we need to build a church, we need to build a pub and supply it with beer. We need to provide two di different types of clothing types and food types. And that one probably is going to take the longest for us because we're going to need to farm flax to make linen and we're going to need to buy some sheep in order to um, make wool. So we'll see. Nice. I really wish we could do decorations here. I would love to like fence this area off. And it would just look more complete as like part of a facility here. Like a forager and a granary next to each other. Kind of makes sense that they would be next to each other. Oh wow. I didn't realize that. We could upgrade this to a large granary, which is why it has such a large foot print around it. Well, that's cool. Yeah, bringing home the blueberries, chat. Okay, we need to get enough silver in order to buy another... We need to get enough silver to buy another uh, livestock. We need 10. Getting two would speed things up a lot more when the time comes. And we're going to have to buy a tool so that way we can uh, build a farm as well. But then that's going to require more people to work, which is dangerous because we got to first feed them before we can upgrade to the farms. Because the farms will take at least a year of other food before it can actually produce itself. Okay, we now have enough money. To buy... Another Fritz. Hopefully we can do it. That's a long way to go, but... Game complex? Uh, I mean, I, I certainly think it can be. I think it is now more complex than a lot of city builders. Nothing too crazy, but when all the other systems come into play, we'll see how complex it gets. So we'll see. Raptor in the house. Hey, y'all. House construction. Oh, are we on break yet? All right, yep. Let's take a break, guys. I'm, I'm already exhausted. You guys can keep working. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, just ye old water. Uh-huh. Yeah, you guys keep it up. Good work there. Uh-huh. Yep. Keep doing whatever. 
Yep. Nice hat, bro. Oh, I thought he was going to hit me with a hammer. I thought that guy had enough. Yeah, you can control the Lord, which means, um, well, we possibly might be able to give the Lord armor and a sword, put him on a horse, send him into battle. Maybe a Lord can die. There is something up here about legacy, too. Uh, it says legacy view locked, so perhaps there's a way where you could have a child or multiple kids, and then, you know, if you die in battle, maybe they can pick up the legacy for you, take over. Maybe you can fight the king. And then make sure that there's only one ring to rule them all. You know, unlimited power, that kind of thing. Maybe. It certainly would be an awesome idea. The dev is open to feedback and has asked me if I like if I have any suggestions or if I need anything. Which uh 102% of all purchases will be going to me. Um, other than that, super reasonable guy. Kidding, chat. We're playing this game because I like it. Like with most games. Random invasions would be dope. Well, it seems like when the, one of the campaigns that we saw does seem to be one where you're going to have to fight bandits, so apparently... There's going to be one where you start at the bottom of the map and the bandits are at the top. And they're going to be pretty tough. You'll have to take over all the other little regions and then eventually take over the uh, enemy themselves. It kind of reminds me how the original Strongholds campaign went with, with defeating the wolf. One's in the chat if you guys ever played a Stronghold game before, especially like the originals. You guys ever play Stronghold? Stronghold is absolutely phenomenal. I really wish the maker of Stronghold would try to go back to like the original. They, they're kind of trying to do something that feels a little bit like... Age of Empire, -y, but I mean, when you make an absolute classic, it is hard to it is hard to make a game just as good as, if not better, than your original classic. So, to the people at Stronghold, it's like, yeah, man, you made a damn good game. It's kind of hard to like make a better game, better than the original, anyway, or just as good. All right, 46% approval. All right, well, at least we're gathering the berries. We have till the end of spring. Oh, we have until December. Okay. So let's gather those up quick. All right, I'm going to try to get a few more houses going. Just so we can try to get more of these uh, jobs fulfilled. Is this still here? Why? That should go now. There's nothing there. Could be a glitch. Nah. Alright, um... Damn, is that... Is there not a way to get rid of this? Close window, pin window. Yeah, it seems like it's glitched. All right, I want to build a church maybe here. Let's build more of the neighborhood here. Looks like it should fit. Church at the top of the hill. Uh, we'll see. I built the berry farm there because it was uh, kind of close.
Damn, this music reminds me of, like Shawshank Redemption when uh, Morgan Freeman gets out of jail and goes to find Andy Dufresne. Get busy living or get busy dying. Then he goes out on that beach and meets Andy. Damn it, why won't this build? Should... Alright, you know, I'm gonna build like two of them and see what happens. Alright, we'll try to build a, 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 a three. Let's build a triple. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. We have Hans. Fritz and Hans are two oxen. Fritz over here working, Hans taking a day off. Oh. He's high of centered, he's gonna need a tow. I think we need to assign somebody else to the hitch. You get one for free, I think. Yeah, there's nobody there yet, still magically. Anna's taking taking him out. Fritz and Hans. What else are we missing? Heinrich? Gunther? Stefan? Yes, we need more. We need more livestock. More. Oh, well, we gotta earn more money. Auto, yeah. Auto would be good. Oh, the soundtrack is like, damn. Soundtrack hit different. Okay, we're trying to gather as much food as possible. Yeah, sadly no save game option, which is okay because then I guess you could experiment every time and learn the most optimal, optimum way to uh, <laughs> beat the game with its current settings, or, or get as far as you can and then eventually uh, play it a different way each time, which is good. More oh, berries are needed. Oh, here comes the rain. Here it comes. No save like Iron Man mode? Yeah, I, I don't know why the demo doesn't have saves at the moment, but it must be some sort of a issue. on the developer side. Okay, more wood is coming in. More food is coming in, although I'm not really happy about it just being berries, but 
We have we absolutely have Operation Oops Hole Berries right now, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, you'll no longer be able to download the demo after October 10th. But if you're me, if you're me, you already have access to Manor Lords 2 coming out in 2027, but I can't tell you guys about that game. I can't tell you anything about Manor Lords 2. It's called uh, Manor Lords 2 Getting Medieval. Go for more food. Man of Lords 2 Aztec Revival. That's good. All right, believe it or not, we're actually doing better. Um, we've got a lot of timber, a, lo a lot of food. It, I, I don't think this will last very long. I'm not sure if the differences in food have, like, a longer... Like, I don't know if... Satiation is a thing in the game. Like, for example, how filling a meal is. Like, does eating eggs and salted meat provide more longer-lasting... Contribution to the eating bar or whatever. Me try talk scientific brain big. Okay, let's turn that off now. Alright, more people to cut wood. Let's try to keep that number up to a hundo. Are there any cashews in this game? No, you can play it if you have a nut allergy. What the hell kind of a question is that, chat? Oh, you mean cashews for gathering. I see. I haven't seen that, but I would like to see the ability to gather things other than berries, like mushrooms and roots. And uh, There are herbs in the game, so I'm not sure how you get those. Maybe, maybe there's like a later medicine building or something. What about corn nuts? The delicious toasted corn nut snack? That's delicious. Wow. Am I Romanian? I don't think so. Not that I know of. Why, is this like a Romanian shield or something? I just made my own thing. Does this game have festivals? Um, maybe you could make some. Well, actually, you know what's interesting is this game does have this, a development policy and production tab, and when you do things, you unlock points. Unfortunately, this content is locked in the demo work in progress, so. Oh, those are the Romanian flag colors? Well, that I knew, but I didn't know if that shield meant anything. Yeah, Raptoria and Romania are... There's lots of lore that intertwined our histories. Yeah, you can have religion, but it seems to be based on some level of Christianity. You know what, since I can't, since I can't really build what I want here, because this thing is being weird... Well, maybe I need to build a road to it. Let's see if that works. Did that get rid of it? I want to build a marketplace here then. Maybe I'll get rid of this road.
Let's build a market area. See, we can't build a road through there, so... I do something like this. There we go. Alright, we'll build a marketplace there. And we have another family. We have 10 coins, so we can buy another uh, oxen. Oh man. I think after this year, we're going to start seeing some real progress. Now that we can gather a lot of resources much faster, much, much faster. Let's build our church. the marketplace too so it fits all right very nice bum, 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 bum. what's up IMX big shout out to Indrid Morgan and uh, booster for the copy pastes Gonna need to get uh, sponsored by Elmer's. Are there any decorations yet? I haven't seen that. Um, no trees, no uh, benches, that type of thing. How, do the, how does the marketplace work? Uh, we marked an area for the market, and now we'll build some stalls there, but I just, I'm stalling. Okay. I'm trying to build only a few things at a time. Oh, we have our third ox. Who is it? Nickel? The hell? Your name is a mineral. There we go. That's what I thought. Gunther. Perfect. Can you upgrade and add to the houses? Yeah, we did. Um, we added, um, well, you can add chicken coops and some other things, but we, we started farming in some of them. But we are going to probably need to import a few more tools so we can, I think that might be a good way for, instead of doing larger scale farming, which might require more people, it might be a good idea to get, just buy some quick, cheap tools to upgrade our food, diversify our food a bit. Plus, it is a requirement to diversify our food and have multiple types. So let's buy tools. Import price is six. Damn. I'm going to get one more ox, and then we'll do it. 
We're still clearing out uh, farmland down here. This is going to be a far farm. I want to clear out this entire area for farming. My god, the amount of rain. Forty-nine there. Ah, uh, you know we'll uh, cancel this. We'll just have you guys work up at this one. It's closer. All right, now we have one free person. Hmm. Let's see. All this rain reminds you of home. Your home planet? Get to work, lads. Well, let's do that now. Oh. Okay. So atmospheric with that rain, bro. So cool. I love that. Rain Pog. Let's build some stalls. Well, it'd be nice to add trees, then we could decorate behind the market, make it look nice. Bum, bum, bum. Are you three hours late to Manor Lords? You could be. Uh, one in the chat if you're a subscriber. One in the chat if you're a subscriber with the notification bell turned on. One in the chat if you're a subscriber with the notification bell turned on to all, so you never miss a live stream. One in the chat if you're ready for giveaways of Manor Lords, if and when we get them. And or I'm already going to do a giveaway so for some other city builders in the Discord. So one, if your body is ready. One, if your mind is ready. One, if you want a juicy gift bomb. One, if you haven't put a one in the chat. One if in the chat for tacos. One in the chat for this sexy third person mode, bro. I mean, that's that's amazing. Can we get a one in the chat for that? Like, I didn't think you could do this. But it's amazing. Ooh, a puddle. Icky. I don't want that on my pointy shoes.
ma'am. Yeah, my, my my layout is certainly like ugly and suburban, that's for sure. But um, until I get the hang of things and until things are a little bit more optimized, it's just it's it's whatever. Anything to survive at the moment. All right, two more logs need to be transported to that church, which is exactly why we bought so many oxen. This is times four speed, by the way. Uh, it goes one, four, and then 16, so I wish there was like a one, four, eight or something like that. Kind of nice. It'd be kind of nice. I want to wait for this church to get built. Did you know that the point to your shoe is the richer it meant you were? Oh, really? What's the point of that? Oh. You told me. I get your point. Bum. Oh, boy. Are there outhouses in people's backyards? Yep. I'm not sure about fertilizer or uh, night soilsmen or anything like that in this game yet. I'm not sure how uh, fertilizer and uh, that's going to work. I want to actually get to farming ASAP, but it's, um, it's taking a little while. Although, again, I did say I'm not in a rush, so... Uh, and we're only in year two. We're only in the summer of, like, the second year, so... Actually, one... Oh, wow. Wow. Let's watch from a distance. Yep, we'll go over how to upgrade houses. We're doing it right now. Or at least trying to. One of the things you need to do is build a church. So make sure you do that. Then you need to supply the town with a tavern and beer. So you'll need to do farming. those ladders dude that looks so cool oh wow whoa okay wow that just popped right in oh wow Not allowed in. Oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, they're building the steeple. Cool.
I want to see it get done. Oh, there it goes. It's happening. Wow. Look at that, man. Oh, cool. Wow, that's neat. Okay, well, we have a church constructed. Um, oh, and then we're building these stalls and things here. But to get the houses to upgrade, yeah, we needed religion, so the faith is done. The church is complete. Uh, we probably should focus on food next. Oh. There comes the stalls. That's good. Damn, this is a banger. Nice. Man, who could ever forget this timeless classic? I feel like we could uh, build the tavern, like, down here by the road, maybe? Travelers and local villagers alike can go enjoy. I guess. Damn, this song is great. No, 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 no bears. No bears here. This is a bear-free zone. This is a bear-free environment. Jack, can't you just bear with me? Give me one night off from the bears. No, smiley. I want to make those extendos. Yeah, we're getting goals done, brother. Hell yeah. Yeah, we can mine the iron. Uh, if we're going to do that, though, we got to mine the iron, then we got to smelt the iron, then we got to have, like, a blacksmith, too. So we need to build, like, three buildings. But more importantly, I need more people in the town. Damn. Gonna have to tip this guy. Oh my god. Where do I throw my money? Dear god, bro. Holy crap. Wow.
I don't even think music needs to play again now. Ever. In any game. I mean, how are you going to top Manor Lord soundtrack? I mean, come on. Damn, that... Was someone getting married? Was someone getting hitched or something? Damn. All right, so we're building three more homes. Um, I got as many people working that as I can. We're all out of food now, I think. We can shut that down. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I could sell the iron for money, true, yep. That's the thing we could do. Trying to get my population up, though, to try to do farming. I want to I wanna make sure my food supply is self-sufficient first. So I'm trying to clear out this area over here with the logging camp. And also the firewood cutter, which actually... Oh, that's full, too. So we're, we're double-cutting this area because we want to... Uh, we want to make farm fields over here. Yeah, I think 90% of the game's budget went to that one song. Can we get weed? Well, I don't know how that worked back in the day. If they grew hemp, I don't... They probably used it more for fabric. But I I haven't seen it as something. The only quote-unquote cash crop is flax that I've seen that I can, that I can farm. Wow, lots of fuel. Good. All right. Well, we won't we won't freeze and we won't starve for na for now. But if we could start selling some more stuff, that'd be nice. Let's get people at the shop. Let's start selling firewood. I need that money, y'all. Got to get that money. Damn. Wait, can I hold shift? Oh yeah, cool. Shift does ten at a time. Nice. Yeah, we jamming. Uthris, are you playing? Are you streaming? Are you recording? What are you doing? Hemp was very common and a valuable resource. Oh, good. I didn't know. Working sad face. Oh. Well, you could do things opposite of me when you're done, and then build a good city. Smiling. Oh, you got two videos out on this. Oh, good. Damn, look at the convoy, boys. Hell yeah, rolling through town. Hans and... Uh... Wait, who the hell? Whoa, he's passing him. Passing him, bro. Damn, whoa. Gunther, holy hell. Whoa. Going for that raise. Yeah, step up, Hans. Whoa. Look at him go. Hauling ass. Damn. You hear another banger? Yeah, every song is a banger. Tip the guy on the loot, bro. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Hans, let's step up the pace, bro. Hans might become, um, you know, meat. Might convert his role from uh, transportation to uh, food logistics. Oh, dude, look at that. You can see all the stumps of all the trees we cut down. That's amazing. Our other games haven't done that. That's just got me stumped. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. No idea why they would just choose not to.
Where can we get horses? I haven't seen them in the game yet. Can you replant trees? Yes. There is a forester building. I'm uh, trying to clear cut those so I can do farming over here. I want to cut that all down. Yeah, Booster was streaming earlier, yep. Yeah. Any crimes or thugs? Not yet. Public order is good. I don't know if we have to worry about crime in this demo. I need to buy tools. You could just build the field over the trees. You don't need to cut it down. Yeah, but then I don't get the wood. I need that wood to build other things. Wow, Angry Jay, thank you. Incredible support today from chat. Thank you for all the gifty bombers in the channel. I'll give you guys some shout outs for everybody a little bit later towards the end of the stream. It's been crazy. So thank you very much for all the big old gift bombs and memberships and smashing like and hanging out. You guys are awesome. That's crazy. That's crazy. Gift bomb emotes. Alright, new houses are complete. Things are speeding up. Storage full at the firewood stall. I want more coin. Wow. Lightning's just gonna shoot me down like that, huh? How nice. Oh, whoa, 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 wow. Oh, look at that, how pretty. Look at that, chat. That is Poglad Bob Ross. When does the rain stop? When it turns to snow, probably. Soon. Soon. Seven coins now. Another person in the granary. Make your army now? I have been. All of our members are in the Raptorian army. They got their banners. Wave them high, boys. Or not. No. Let's just talk about things peacefully. Never mind. No, nope, that's fine. Yeah. No, nope, let's not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just talk about things. Fight, bro. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. Walk away.
Wow. Amazing. Wow, Minecraft mum. Thank you very much for your support too. Wow. Yeah, that is certainly drip. Uh, it's not even drip, it's more like drench. Like, with the rain in our outfit, that is just complete drench. Torrential drench. Torrential. Torrentula. That's gonna be my character name. Sir Torrentula. And aggr aggressive like a spider, but also wet like a... Like the ocean. For sure. All right, money's coming in slow. I think we're going to speed things up here because I'm really, I'm just waiting for things to finish and we're, we're doing fine. I'll pause every time that there's like something new to do. Yeah, you can go anywhere. You don't have to just walk on the roads. Ooh, a new message. Some progression, boys. The king demands... To the region of Raptoria, you are hereby an omission of debt for the lands in which the royal crown has granted stewardship to the honorable raptor. Oh, it's like when you have a YouTube channel and Susan comes a knock and, and it's like... Uh, a tax to be levied upon the land to be paid in precious wealth or labor. Failure to submit payment will find the lands forfeit to the governance under the stewards and return to the crown. Yep, exact uh, writings too of your AdSense program. Exact same. We have 365 days to pay a whopping $5. We have we have to find $5 in 191 days. Boy, check the couch cushions, chat. In your hobbles. Did it, does anybody have, like, uh, five silver? We'll have to find... We'll have to find some. I think we have enough. We're good. We're buying one more oxen, and then we're going to call it a day on the oxen. And then we're gonna start farming. Should be a good time. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there might be the ability to upgrade our character. I'm not sure exactly what the legacy view will do, but we'll see. We will see. Things are going really well though now. We're gonna play at a higher speed actually. Let's try to get through this second winter. So the first winter was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. But the second winter should be a lot more solid. We got a hell of a lot more than we did the first time. Over 100 food, almost 100 fuel. We've got enough money for another, uh, hopefully we get another uh, oxen soon. And then we can have four, two for the uh, logging and two for the uh, transportation to the construction sites. We're still cutting those trees down. Got to find a place to put a... Hold your breath, Dutch people. Windmill. We'll have to find out where we're going to put one of those. Soon. Soon. Now, oh, CJ, thanks for the five. Yeah. God save the king here, I suppose, yeah. Now we gotta make it to March with literally no extra food. Well, there's probably gonna be some coming in from that house there. We'll see. Windmill, the symbol of my people, yeah. I guess we could put a windmill over here somewhere. In order to make the farm fields work, though, we've got to make a farm field for... Well, we got to make a farm field, then we got to make a windmill, then we got to make an oven. So it's like we're going to need probably ten free people to do that. So I'd like to rather buy tools first. Or maybe make our own stuff. Chat's right, maybe we should do some mining. Chat, you're right. Let's do mining. It only costs one. Uh, where's the mine? There it is. Come on, people! 
Can you sell this stuff to other lords? I mean, I have a Teespring store. <laughs> Exclamation point merch in the chat. If you'd like to uh, peek my wares, my liege. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Oh, that was an insta build. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. I guess one person just have, has to bring one log over. And knowing our uh, oxen is probably going to be... Gunther. Oh, what do we got? Hans, Gunther, Hans, and... Fr <laughs> yes, we have Fritz, Hans, Gun Gunther, and Hans again. Alright, so the, the, the final ox that we just bought was named Hans as well. Alright then. Well, clearly we are... We certainly are in ancient Canada. It's like the 70s or 80s before they had internet. Hans the second? Alright. I'll name him Hans the second, chat. I don't know which one it is. Oh, this one right here. Yep. Alright. Hans version 2.0. This got updated firmware. And a little more up-to-date software, too. Alright, um... Let's see. Granary is full. Forger hut. I guess we'll leave these people on a sign now, just for... Wait. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. Alright. It's all mine. Oh, look at that. Cool. Yep. That's a Raptorian pit right there. No one digs a hole like me. That's a fine hole right there. That's going on Twitter. Yep. Thank you, Booster. Okay, we got a little bit of money. What should I buy? We should buy tools. I want to make my own food. I'll buy two at a time. <sighs> yeah, I, I, that pit over there, I really dig it. I think that's a really... That, of all the pits that we've ever dug, that one, that one's the best. Can you dig it? Bum, 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 bum. That's for the pits? Oh. We'll name this pit Brad. Unfortunately, we can't rename it. So, unplayable. Uninstalling now. Ooh, we have a tool. Alright, let's get another farm plot going. enough food for one month. Oh my god. How unfair.
Well, we have more tools. I'm gonna build a farm now. No, damn it. All right, that'll do. Luckily, we get our material back, so that's fine. All right, more, more farms. More food is needed. Almost there. Okay, well that's fine. Totally fine. Need more food. I'm gonna have to turn all these into gardens. This reminds me of Austria, by the way. You can do this in Austria, where you turn all the houses into a garden. A garden, as Alex would say. Audio's pretty good. Yeah, the music's great, and so are the sounds. Everything's got a lot of love and care in it. It's like a Totino's brand pizza roll. Oh, we have four iron ore so far. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get fuel for the smithy, though. I'm not sure if... It, it does show that there's charcoal in the game, but I haven't seen a charcoal kiln, so I'm not sure how we're going to fuel that up, but... Better than nothing. All right, we have another tool. That should give us vegetables when the time comes. I'm not sure exactly what the, um... I'm not sure when these are ready to harvest. Oh, they have 16 in storage. Okay. So I'm not sure if they'll share with other homes. Not sure how that's going to work. We'll see. Yeah, we're having lots of fun with this game, yep. Lots of fun. Mm 
my lord, doth thine milkshake bringeth all thine wenches to thine yard? Ah, yes. Ye old shake of milk bringeth thine finest of wench. Ye. Bum, 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 bum. Well, this certainly does a lot of things differently than Farthest Frontiers, but I, I like both games a lot for what they do, how they play. Take some people off the granary? Well, I'd like to see if they actually go and get those uh, fruits, I mean uh, vegetables from those houses. I'm not sure how they're working. But I guess we can try. Yep, video on uh, flooded is Floodland is ready to go, but Manor Lords takes priority since I've been hyped for it for two years. But yes. Feel welcome to DM me on the Discord. If you guys haven't added me on Instagram too, by the way, I'm like really close to uh, like 10,000 people on Instagram, 10,000 people on Twitter, so I, I would appreciate some more follows. And uh, definitely helps to bypass the uh, YouTube notification system, which is garbage, so... Exclamation point Instagram, follow me. Exclamation point Twitter, follow me. Send a DM anywhere there or on uh, on Discord too with any of your game suggestions. Especially during this next event, by the way. There's a lot there's a lot of good games. As chat mentioned, there are free games right now on Steam. You can play right now for free. You just gotta go to the next event and like search for whatever you'd like. And I'm gonna be doing some free giveaways today too for chat. Gotta be on the Discord. Oh, oh. Relax a little bit, you know, and I think that's probably something that'll change in the future. Huh? Yeah, you heard me. All right, so uh, I think we'll just keep keep on trucking here. See if we can get through November. Oh my god, we have literally no food. 21 berries, 12 vegetables. You've got to be kidding me. I I'm going to have to just buy food. Trying to sell as much firewood as we can too, but it doesn't look like it's selling very much. Now oh, maybe it is. Let's try to sell that raw iron too. Will they take raw iron? Let's export all of it. I don't know if it's infinite or what. Oh yeah, I can just do this. We'll keep five. Grandma Pancakes, thank you for the support as well. Wow. Wow. 
Looks like this might be an endless supply, I'm not sure. Gift bomb emotes. We have two more tools. Uh, are there raiders in this one too? Uh, I think so, but I'm not sure how exactly it's going to work. It's not in this current version, but... Soon. Soon, chat. Soon. What's the difference between the red and black bounty lines? Oh, the, the black lines are territory that we can't... It's like the edge of the map. We can't go there or do anything there. The red lines are territory that we already control. And then these lines here next to it are areas that we can eventually influence. If we get a thousand influence, for example. But we have... We have like 465 right now. We'll generate influence over time. Uh, where's the town? There it is. Yeah, the, the map's not just this little red area. There's actually a whole world map. And we can actually, like, explore and build in these areas, too. We just gotta claim them from the king via influence. Look, bees. Oh, flowers. Ooh, pretty. We can make honey and we can make, uh... Candles and stuff from that. Or just sell the raw resources. All right, we're importing meat as much as we can. Uh, berries just didn't do it. Yeah, we can build walls. Uh, just not at the moment. Hmm. Okay, the farm is done. Emmer, flax, barley, rye. We only have access to emmer, so. make this so it can hold up to eight people. Well, it looks like eight is two. Okay, so there must be a cap at seven. Unfortunately, it doesn't really show yield capacities here for fields, so. Okay. Oh, there we go. I think that tree will still need to be cut down, but Oh, never mind. All right, then. So there is crop rotation in the game. We have uh, first year of Emmer. Then we'll do another year. Actually, we'll just go three years in a row, just get those numbers up. We'll go three years in a row with that. And then we'll uh, make it a little bit more optimized for fertility. Although it's a little too late to plant now. We'll do it first thing in the spring.
Now we'll need a windmill. Hey Holly, how you doing? Welcome to the Big O stream. Good to have you hanging with us. All right, let's put our windmill here. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize this. Windmill efficiency, 93%. Oh, there's an efficiency boost. Must be based on elevation, perhaps? Well, 98 is pretty good here. Plus, it's next to the... Um, it's next to the farm. I'll, I'll take anything over like 98, 97. Well, didn't know that. That's cool. First time I actually noticed that. I'll take the 98 right there. Ninety-nine. That's good. Close to the farm too, so they don't have to go very far to transport the grain to the uh, windmill. It's popping off now, boys. Ooh, more gold, uh, silver. I have money and I'm willing to buy tons of stuff, but we're just not getting the numbers. I'll, I'll just buy anything and everything. Well, so long as it's not expensive. Gonna try to buy everything. What's full trade? Import or export trying to match the stock to target. Oh, I see. Didn't realize that. Convict, thank you very much for the support. Wow, smiling. Yep, background music in this game overall. Soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. I think we should play it again uh, tonight as well. I think we should. What do you guys think? Should we play more? You want to see more Manor Lords chat? You think we should play it tonight as well? Me too, good. Glad we agree, that was easy. So the church has storage. I think the church can take candles and it might actually um, take more money. Or, or generate more influence. There we go. That's a good bell. Uh, you upgrade the houses by providing them everything that they want here. So two food variety, two clothing, entertainment. 
We'll need to work on... That's why we're doing farming. Is we're going to try to make bread. That'll give us one more food, and then we'll do something else. For uh, probably making beer. for iron ore. 64. Alright, forget that. You guys can go work on the farm now. They should be able to at least start tilling a little bit. Uh, we have 273 days to pay the king. I wish we could just pay that early. Wow, 51 timber. Excellent. No, the gardens actually produce stuff. They should be making vegetables. Or they should have. They may have already eaten it. We're having food problems. Which is like... We're like in year two and... We don't have a lot of food sources here, so it kind of is uh, risky. If I can get enough influence, we can capture the neighboring town and then... Uh, try to get meat and stuff over here, but... We gotta start turning to farming. Entering such dangerous territory. I have tons of money. 50, 51. We have 51. I want to buy food. Now we'll, we'll start our farming next year. We could also buy wheat. Uh, wait, does that. Well, it'll have to be thrashed into grain. Oh, I don't even have a bakery yet. We should probably build that next. Yeah, I think people will die this winter too, and it's because we're getting a very slow trickle of like, we have tons of money, we want to buy tons of stuff, and it's just like there's no food. People won't sell it, it's rare to find. It's going to be a tough year. We'll see how it goes. Let's build our communal oven over by the granary here. That should store grain and then flour too, or whatever. Anything and everything, we'll try to import then. For that, that's too expensive. All right, we'll try that out. All right, we'll see how that works. Our imports are based on our trading partners, so we're just going to have to take anything and everything that they supply, try to turn it into food.
What's up, Yan? How you doing? Uh, the war is now. The war is against the <laughs> AI and the trading system. Farming and, I guess, Raptorian's ability to, uh... To survive. After this, it should get a lot easier because now we will actually be farming every year. So it's going to be another bumpy next year, but once we've got some grain in storage, we should be able to start uh, cracking it down. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Matthew. Thanks for the five, man. Welcome. Try to import raw and other foods. Hmm. That should be fine. Yeah, we'll try that out, see if that changes this year. And I wish I had pelts to trade. I think I think that would be great. Would be nice. Would be nice. Alright, we will have died to deaths, but we should snap back. And be able to grow bigger because of all the farming we have standing by. Standing by. this game have food spoilage? I haven't seen anything like that. Not yet. Better. We're going to need to add more people for the farming next year. Lots of people. Alright. Time for the culling of the wheat. The defeatists, the naysayers, gotta go.
You have oxen that keep getting stuck? Oh, really? It begins. Three berry deposits, plenty of imports, and uh, carrot gardens. Not enough. We need we need some damn uh, deer to migrate in here. Luckily, this will be the last year of the nail biting. Thankfully. Weakness. Some food just got bought? Oh, it's really a small amount. It was gone before we knew it. Damn, the music's good, dude. Alright, we gotta get these numbers up. We're rookie numbers. Everybody from here on out is gonna be put towards farming and making uh, bread. It's gonna take a year for it to buff out, but... Be all right. Weakness. Hold the line. Hopefully this is the last year we got to deal with this. making firewood. How does it feel to play this game? It's good. Glad to be playing. Okay, we need to wait until uh, this should be over by mid-March when the uh, berries and stuff kick in. It's going to be rough. But I think optimal setup has got to be uh, berry, like two berry bushes, two animal spawns, and man, I'd love to get some honeybees or something like that. That'd be awesome. Can the cows be trained to fetch their own uh, logs? Uh, maybe. Alright, it's almost over. Hold. Hold. It's almost over. Building another house. Old.
Honeybees equal mead. That would be cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't say here what they what they do. I'm assuming it's just honey and uh, candle wax, but I'm not sure what the honey will be used for. Candle wax will be for, well, beeswax will be for candles. And I think that's sent to the church and might give us more influence from that. I wouldn't be surprised. We're getting all this money. I don't want money, I want food. Cheap goods for import. Well, that's I guess why it's work in progress. All right, we got to dig deep, boys. Gotta make it to March. Ah. Calm down. Jeez. I'm not sure if there's an aging system, but uh, years do pass by slowly, so it would take a long time to even hit like 20 years. Sing to the cows, yeah. Like the Swedes. Come on, hold steady, hold steady. Uh, we haven't built our manor house yet. I think we can do that now, but we need to also build a wall around it first, or something like that. I haven't built one yet, so... More money. I don't want money. I want food. We've been able to buy tools. Build those for next spring. seem to be consuming that tool. Okay. Let's try to save it. See, we can snap back. Luckily, we have ourselves the, the farm finished, and that was the problem before, is the uh, not having bread and stuff available, which is, God, troublesome, but we got it. 
Now, there's no day-night cycle in the game at the moment, from what I see. The farming begins. Excellent. Hopefully we can snap back from problems. Now, because everything's built, we should be able to snap back rather quickly. Food will still remain a problem for quite some time, but we really need to focus on bread now. Because there's we got unlucky with our spawn having like literally no meat. Ideally, this would have been great. One berry and two meat would have been awesome. Now, we want to snap back from reality. Oh, there goes gravity. There, oh, there goes gravity. Yeah, festivals would be fantastic to raise happiness and... Maybe we could have a vocational job day. Bring your, bring your uh, kid to uh, field day. There they go. I wonder if they'll remove the tree trunks. I bet they will when they work the field. Eh, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, the trading is strange. Like, the iron ore sales, been, we've been getting tons of regional wealth, but not been able to buy anything that we absolutely need that way. Well, at least the oxen survived. Our favorites. Hans... Hans version 2.0, Gunther, and of course Fritz. Very important. Did you hear about the excellent farmer? He was outstanding in his field. You know, Chad, I don't have to stream anymore. You don't want me to. You're going to attack me like that. I'm just kidding. Good one, dude. Good one. Uh, let's see. Let's add another farmer, I guess. We need more workers here. And we'll just have to keep buying... Uh, Wow, we got so we got so many people farming in their own house. I guess we're gonna have to put everybody on personal farm duty. That's cool how there's options around that. I like that. Build another field. We'll go with Emmer again. We can do two different crop rotations on them as well at a certain point. But for now, it's just going to be Emmer, 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 Emmer. Which is fine. That'll remind me to switch it later. Pay the king, that's automatic. Pretty sure.
All right, we got plenty of uh, timber. Now we just got to come back with the food situation. All right, thank God. All right, the berries really only help for like spring to summer or really like mid fall, which is good because then if you tell your people to, pro if they prioritize eating berries, that gives you plenty of time to gather bread and meat and then they can go do something else. Which is pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. And this music is like eerie. On my other playthrough, this was a challenge too. Is the the switch to a more permanent food source is troublesome because you need to grow. You you, you have to feed your population. And it's really hard to do, but then in order to get more people into your town, or rather, in order to get more food, you need to get more people in the town. In order to get more people in the town, you need more food. So it's a little bit of a, little bit of a stun lock. It's about balancing it just right. In order to upgrade houses to tier two, you just got to click on the house and do what it tells you. So, like for example, it wants a church, a tavern with beer, two types of clothing, and two types of food. Here comes the banger. Let's get some rap Raptor King emotes. This song is Da Coon. Keep them coming. Yeah, the uh, the animals kind of migrate a little bit, but they only they only move within like a small area, so they don't really move. Oh dear. Pretty. All right, everybody was mad at me about the whole hunger thing. They'll get over it. Those who oppose me are dead. I survived. Oh, look, they're they're throwing seed. That's cool. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I have no idea. What do you call when you cross an elephant with a rhino? Elf rhino. What's the red on the map indicate? Oh, the uh, territory that we control. Yeah, we could claim new territory. I I haven't been able to do it before though. Like I can't click that button. I don't I'm not sure how to do it. I just build there? I'm not I'm not sure exactly how to do it. Damn, hold on, I can't Damn. Ain't your church a different color? Uh can I? No, I don't think I can. 
All right, careful, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. That's talking about the other map, because we have 56 here. There should be a way to, sh like, uh, ship it over there. You can't access it in the demo? Oh, you can't build in another spot? Oh, I guess it's grayed out for a reason, then. I thought we could. Darn. Well, that would have been nice. Now, chat did mention that maybe, perhaps, we could build, like, a hunting cabin here and then have our hunters go over there to get it? We could maybe build a... Well, there's actually already a road going. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I'm tired of the whole food problem. Especially when we tr we had tons of money and nobody wanted to sell us any food. All dressed up and no place to go. Build a hunting cabin down here, then. That looks pretty decent. All right, we'll see how that goes. But luckily, after this year, with the f you know food part should be solved. Honestly, I think everybody should understand too that since it's early access and/or demo, that there's probably some things broken. And farming seems to be a little more complicated than most things, with the ability to rotate crops and then be able to have so many workers actually working on being able to plant and harvest and doing all those types of things. It takes a long time. Can the hunting crew be upgraded to fighters and such? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know if they have any defensive abilities. Good question. Okay, we have one free person. I guess we'll just put everybody into farming to make farming more effective. Wow, we have one wheat, chat. We bought one wheat. 115 days till we can get more. Hello from Malaysia. Hello. What livestock is available in the game? We have goats and uh, chickens that we can get at these homes. Actually, maybe we could start buying them. Oh. Oh, we do have money for that. Hold on. Hold up. Maybe we can buy chickens from here? Oh, no, we can't. Uh, I think the royal tax thing is automatically paid. Is there no way to actually import chickens? Wait, there's chickens right there. Oh, it's automatic. They're free. Oh, I thought you had to... Okay. So the chickens don't have to be imported. The chickens are just... Oh, my God. So the only animals that need import are sheep and lambs. Then the goats are free, too. That means we can make goat cheese and or goat's milk. Well, damn. If only I would have known that. Well... Sometimes, chat, it comes down to the more you know. Yep. Alright, well. This is the Nugget neighborhood up here. All right, well, that's what I should do is do exports and then just buy a bunch of food.
Oh wait, let's check our hunting camp too. Hey, nice. Now let's see if we can cheese. Actually, I think that's fair for how challenging some of that food gathering is. Take a couple people away. Let's see if they can go gather us <coughs> some food. I think the tax payment is automatic. If you have the money in your account, it'll just withdraw. Like, we have five. I, I don't know. Did it work? I guess we're about to see. I mean, if we start generating meat. The chickens will produce eggs, so we'll have eggs, berries, vegetables, bread. Soon. I think we got past the hardest part there was that, like, initial, like, step into self-sufficiency. Uh, the the tax building will generate money, but we don't necessarily have to build it. As it says here, regional wealth is 39. Wealth can be used for imports or taxed. And since we owe 5, it'll just take 5 out of there. You can always trade for it, or you can do the tax thing, yeah. I think in order to build the tax guy, we need to... Uh, Enables tax collection in the region. Minimum settlement level, medium village. Well, we are a medium village, so... And it looks like we can't unlock the manor until we get to 999 buildings? Wait, did that say locked in the demo? Oh. No, that just looks like the troops. I don't know. Let's focus on food first. Let's get that squared away before we start trying to pay a $5 fee. Where are these people at? Oof, they gotta walk a long way. Gotta walk a long way, boys. Nice! 69 population. Nice. Alright, I forgot everybody on foraging here. Once we exhaust those berries, we can then ship them over to the farming area. Put them into windmills and the bakery. Uh, I'm looking so forward to not having um, a problem with that, with the food. Very, very good. Market area is so sad. Not much going on. Let's get a goat farm going. <laughs> nice. So sheep are the biggest thing that are needed for uh, wool. That's why they're a larger... Uh, 
livestock. Is there a security? Yeah, there seems to be buildings for security, gate towers and stuff. Seems like there's also a way to set difficulty higher where there could be more crime. And thus you'll need guards. These guys might be programmed not to leave the border. They might not leave the border. Any weather control? There are options for controlling the weather in the settings before you start, yeah. Also, I'm not sure how to use the stone deposits as well. I haven't seen a, a mine that can use those. I mean, there there is a pit, but it says that it's only for clay and for iron, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we should be able to buy more territory, but chat says it's not available in the demo, which I guess I didn't know. So we'll see. All right, so it looks like we get 272 plus another 327 for Emmer in about three months, so... That's going to be an astronomical amount of food. And yeah, the music? Ridiculous. Imagine, this is just like the city builder music. Imagine if there's like warfare music. There could be music just for fighting. That could be cool. The music is so good. Alright, so I don't think we can hunt on the border, unfortunately. I don't think they'll be able to cross the border and go hunting. That's okay. It was worth a try, though, to see if we could actually get to those uh, food sources there. Uh, Doc Plays, thank you very much for the support as well, dude. All right, everybody who's a subscriber, we're going to do a giveaway in the Discord just after this stream. We're also going to go into another video of uh, my, uh, Manor Lords as well. So we're going to go into episode two of another series as well. So make sure you get ready for that. And free stuff to give away on the Discord for all you guys just for watching. Subscribe them for free. Smash the like for free. It's been an awesome day. So we got lots to do for giveaways. Get ready. Make sure your mind and your body are ready. I'm going to check something here good doc plays thank you very much for the five dude dude there's been so much support oh my god it's been insanity absolute insanity so big shout out to Godfried for the 18 months tim for the 10 months asher for the 14 months as a member casey as a new member welcome aboard uh, God Kid, thanks for the 20 months. Gordy, thank you very much for the two months. Mark, thank you very much for the four months. John, a new member, welcome aboard, my man. Schwab, thanks for the four. Schwab, thanks for the five gift bomb as well, dude. Carl, thank you very much for the hundred Swedish kroner, dude. Appreciate you, my man. A fair tax system all around, he says. Thank you very much, dude, uh, for your support and for joining us in uh, Hearts of Iron the other day. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Greeny, with the two months, thank you. Nicole with the gift bomb. As well, thank you very much for dropping a bomb. A diff Jana, destructible. K1, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Aquain, thank you very much for the five as well, dude. Turgia with the uh, little raptor membership. Daniel with the two. Thank you, my man. Tim with the uh, 13 months as a hatchling. Oh my god. Sir William with the 26 months as an ultimate chaos with the 25. Christopher with the two. Angry Jay with the 10 gift bomb, dude. CJ, thank you very much for the 22 months as a raptor egg. 
Minecraft Mom with the five gift bomb too earlier. CJ again, thank you very much for the five. And uh, Baron with the five. Four to Kevin with the four months as an egg. Ram of Pancakes, thanks for the five bomb. Convict X, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Matthew, thank you very much for the 52. Dude, by the way, he's from the moderator team from uh, Manor Lords. So thank you very much, dude, for uh, coming in to loan your expertise. And Dog Plays, thanks for the seven months. And another five bomb on top of that. Yeah, this is out as a work in progress demo uh, for now. So everybody can download and play this game for free right now. All right, I'm going to be back a little bit later today. But before we go, I'm going to send you guys over to a new video going live. You guys can be amongst some of the first to watch it on the channel. So there you go. There's a link to go watch the episode two. You guys could be the first to watch it. And we'll be back a little bit later with this very save. Hopefully it doesn't crash or anything. And we'll come back for more Manor Lords. Thank you for being here, folks. I will see you all shortly for more. And I'll see you in our live premiere. Remember, the video you're going to is not live. It's pre-recorded. So if you have any questions or whatnot, chat will try to help. But uh, for the most part, it'll just be hanging out and watching more Manor Lords. And we'll be back for more in just a little bit. Thanks again, chat, for all the love and awesomeness. I'll see you all in the next video and in another stream later today. Let's go!